Never mind. I just did. <laughs> Why? Nothing. It's all good. Are you being a chaotic player again? Yes, she is. Halo kind of stuff. Halo, I'm okay. just gonna say that. Um, so before we start with any of the recap or anything like that, um, I have written out a um, mythology of sorts for this campaign. Ooh. So I realized that I didn't really Ooh, have anything cool. for the gods yet. You guys kept asking me questions about it. I didn't have answers. <laughs> so you made up the answers. So I made up the, the basic answers. Yay. So, Do you have um, like a yeah, I have a doc, and I'll, I'll share it with you. But I wanna, I wanna share it out because I wrote it like I was like I, I was... don't care if you die. Go. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. You might wanna mute your mic, Ayla. Yeah, if you're gonna be yelling at people to die, yeah, probably mute your mic. That's that's public record now that you said that because this is on like, stream. Just so, just so, just so can't die dragon. The one in the house. I told them to leave me alone. Okay. Okay, so let me let me share this story first. Let me get some music. Um, so I'm going to share the story of the formation of the universes. I actually have multiple people in stream right now, so enjoy this. Cool. Hey, multiple people. Hi. Hello, multiple people. Oh, yeah. Can one of you quickly uh, send me... Hmm? Hi. No, okay. just talking to her kids, probably. Oh. Uh, that's not what I meant. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't have kids, but go ahead. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Here We're we really go. organized today. <laughs> <laughs> so, here, here... So, no one exactly knows exactly how the universes were formed. Maybe they were never formed, and they've always been there. Maybe something that was never formed formed everything. Maybe there was at one point nothing, but the mere existence of nothingness caused something to be created. There are many theories, and thousands of lifetimes of dedication to solving this problem have come and gone. Even the stories told by the gods themselves have been questioned. Those are stories of boredom, really. Not not, not a boring story. It's, it's hard to describe. Let me share it. At the very beginning of time, there was but a single being, X, the infinite, the god of, well, at this point, everything. X had complete and utter control over everything. He could create worlds, stars, galaxies, and even universes. He controlled the passage of time, forward, backwards, and parallel. There was nothing that was not his to command. As the commander of everything, he began to create. He made many universes, many galaxies, and many worlds, including the one we stand on today. It is said that he has created everything. Yes, that's obvious, but I, I don't think you fully understand what I mean when he when I say that he has created everything. Everything that can be created, he has created. There is nothing that can enter your head that X has not thought of and attempted to create. You see, when you are completely in control of everything, including time itself, you get bored pretty fast. Especially when time doesn't have to move as you do any of it. So X attempted to find the most perfect creation. Something that could bring him eternal joy created infinite universes with infinite parallel timelines, but nothing worked. And that was until he created Sil, which is the name of the world that we live in. Sil was not his first attempt at creating a world inhabited by intelligent beings. He had attempted this many times. This was, however, the first time he created beings that admired his creation. It was the first time that he created beings that worshipped his power, not because he created them to do so, but because they wanted to do so. He studied the people of Sil closely to see if one of these beings could give him the eternal joy that he was after. And after thousands of years, he finally met her. Her name was Avia. Avia was a human woman. She was pale with long curly red hair, her face freckled in the daylight. She was the daughter of Heston, a coal miner, and Zivia. She had a two-year-older brother named Drom and a younger brother named Huther. When Avia was just five years old, her and her family were traveling via caravan to a new mine that her father was to be the foreman at. About a mile away from their destination, destination, Avia needed to relieve herself and asked for her family to stop alongside the road for a moment. Her parents pled for her to wait, but she demanded to stop, so they did. 
Ava was brought into the woods with her grandmother, Rovio. A few moments later, the two of them heard screams from the caravan. They ran back to the caravan as quickly as they could, but when they arrived, they saw their family gone, blood scattered across the caravan and wolf tracks all over. From then on, her grandmother raised her and taught her all about X, the Infinite, and his creations. She loved learning of X's creations, especially when she learned about time. In her, eye, in her eyes, time was everything. It was the reason she had no longer had parents, and it was the one thing keeping her away from her parents. She became infatuated with it. She studied the concepts of it, pondered the questions of its linearity. Ava dedicated her life entirely to studying time, and started each day by praying to X, asking him to give her the power to go back in time so she could see her parents again. Just as she was infatuated with time, X began, began to become infatuated with her. He began to love his creation and genuinely care for his creation, a feeling he had not felt in all of his ubiquitous existence. As Ava lay on her deathbed, she once again prayed to ask, asking him for one final chance to see her parents. X was afraid of what might come of giving her such a power, as he had never done so before. But as she took her last breath, X shed a single tear, and overwhelmed with emotion and wanting to give the only thing he had ever loved what she wanted, X released his power over time to Avia, Avia granting her immortality and access to the celestial realm. Ava was surprised but ecstatic over the power X had bestowed upon her. And almost immediately, as you'd expect, Ava began to reverse time so she could see her parents again, to say goodbye, or to prevent the occurrence from happening entirely. But as she looked upon her own self, going back each and every day, she stopped at the very moment Avia's childlike self saw what had, happened, had become of her parents. She saw the emotional expanse within her eyes, everything from love to hate to despair and dedication. She decided to not see her parents again, because that moment is what made her who she was. She wasn't going to use her power over time to prevent bad things from happening, but rather to dwell on the good things, as the good times can only be good if there was bad before it. X loved this decision from Avia and recognized it to be the very thing that he was after this whole time. It wasn't the perfect creation that would give him joy, but rather the creation that could show him the joy amidst the sorrow. From then on, whenever X found another being from Scylla, from Scylla that fully and completely depicted an aspect of his power, both good and bad, he granted them ownership over it. Over time, he has given so much of his power to others that he no longer has the power he once had. He no longer can create new universes, and some of his more abandoned universes have ceased to exist. In fact, some say that there are new gods that are even more powerful than he is, but to him, that's okay, because he finally found the joy he had longed for eternities. That's it. Wow. Hey, I like it. The Pantheon so Lord God is actually happy? Oh my yes. god. Yes. <laughs> Round of applause for Jason. Can we all just take a moment to appreciate Jason? Yes. Yeah. I appreciate Jason. Oh, I should have named the god Jason instead of X. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. As soon as you said X, I immediately had fucking flashbacks to Tanya. What a evil. missed opportunity. Uh, <laughs> that would have completely changed the tone of the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So oh I will god. I will send all of this in case you guys want to read it at another point into uh um, Absolutely. I would appreciate that. That's awesome, dude. A cool ass story. Yeah, yeah, so I'll put it. Like I'll put it in the Discord at some point. It won't be right now. I'll probably be during the break, but you guys can read through it whenever you'd like. Okay. That is the basic um, information that everybody has in this world towards the gods. Uh, the can gods in this in this world don't. Uh, thank you to Hawk and Dragon O uh, One for hosting with only one viewer, but still. Which is himself. <laughs> oh, no, probably, okay. yeah. Thank you, Hawk and <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> Thank you. And thank also, you and one person you're following. You did follow thank you. Early. Yay. Okay. Um, <laughs> continuing. This is basically all of the concrete, and even this is not 100% concrete uh, information that you guys have towards the gods. The gods don't commune with people okay. very often, if really at all. Uh, and usually it's only people that have like deep connections with the gods that have connection, that have uh, communion with them. Um, mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're pretty pretty much live on their on their own um outside of it so like... we don't oh sorry go on yeah, what were you gonna say i was just gonna say like how x with um 
Avia. How like he didn't really do anything yeah. for a long time. He didn't do anything at all until the very last moment. So that that's a, essentially okay. the same thing. When uh, when there's enough of a bond between them, that's when they start to commune. Uh, but most of the right. time, and when it really matters, yeah, and when it really matters. But most of the time, gotcha. there is no communion or no direct okay. um, communication but with, they're there. with the god. But they are there. Uh, most of them, of the ones that are within the list, are confirmed. Um, but I, I don't know if you guys would even know the full list. The full list is there in case they have any backstory ties, but I'm mm -hmm. not even going to say that you guys know all of the gods anymore. Yeah, so there, there's a little bit a little bit of retconning there. Um, that's okay. Uh, but yeah. I'm still developing yeah, the cool. Pantheon, so um, so that's basically it at this point. Yes. All right. Cool, cool. 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 Um, so does anybody want to give the recap of last session? Uh, I, I, I feel like I, I don't. I think Yeroni should do it. I mean, I can do it. But I, I always do it. I kind of want to try. What's up, Fred? I feel like Fred. Okay. I mean, Fred, Fred, can, Fred. If Fred wants to try, but I feel like Mortimer no. should do it since we're starting to focus on Mortimer. Oh, true. That's a good point. Uh, I mean, uh, if you want to try, go for it. Like, no, I, I want to. I want to hear Fred's version of a recap. Yeah, yeah sure. sure. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, more and more next time. But yeah. um, so bas basically, we were like in this puzzle with like a truth god, where like we could only speak the truth. I think that was two sessions ago. Yeah. Anyway, we just got out it's of relevant. that. We we got out of that, and basically, it is relevant, though. the headmaster was like, "Okay, Mortimer, you 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 can go. We need to get this party to this party's gonna go on a trip with you." Um, to do your business, but we don't know what that business is yet. My Something business. to do with family. Um, so we, it was basically for the first hour, we geared up to leave. Um, people packed up their stuff. There was this whole incident with like a, uh, an out, like people trying to steal stuff from the alchemy room. And then we had to go talk to the headmaster about that. And we tried to lie our way out of it, but it didn't really work. And then, you know, there was, and then Ayla got cast with this spell that was basically basically does not allow her to cause chaos and if she does she will take psychic damage so that is very fun and fresh um <laughs> <laughs> so then we geared up to leave and we made the trip to i do not remember the name of the location copper bluff copper bluff well, yeah you went to the Aliona. city yeah city of aliona first and now you guys are traveling through the copper bluff oh Except right went to Wahidnon and then yes. swam to the Copper Bluff. And was it's very it's close to dying. Like died. an Odysseus mofo. Wow. <laughs> um, and then he gets there and then I, they're like... I would have said Beowulf, but yeah. Oh, Beowulf's better. That's very true. Um, but but he was like, Mortimer, Mortimer's are... One of the orcs told uh, Mor Yoroni that Mortimer was their friend. And so any friend of Mortimer's was a friend of his. Um, and then as we arrive, um, we're greeted by orcs, right? That's, that's all I remember. We, ha I don't so think you the, guys the haven't party arrived. Party yeah. hasn't arrived. Oh, so shit. the last thing that happens, the, the yeah, the last thing that oh, happens, shit. uh, to the party other than Yuroni, because Yuroni is already there, other than Yuroni, was uh, one of the wheels of the ships, not the ship, of the, um, what's it called? Caravan, I guess? Um, carriage? carriage there we carriage. go that's the word yeah. Car carriage <laughs> one of the Station wheels of the carriage um had fallen off or was falling off so you guys were trying to fix it uh when you heard um the horse start screaming or like yelping i guess that was the last that you guys heard it's screaming in english <laughs> and uh actually horses do technically scream horse sure. screams in english the horse neighed with anguish how about that Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and with that, can I actually have everybody except Yoroni, please roll me initiative. Great. Yeah. Great. This is like the most amount of consistent viewers we've ever had, and that makes me happy. Hey, guys. So hey. we're about to fight. Even yeah. though both of those viewers are friends of mine. Still. You want to see half of us almost oh, die? Well, that's I was about to say, this is, a, this is a weird place to drop in, but yeah. <laughs> that's very fun. <laughs> Where we should drop in, boys. Combat. <laughs> Where we drop in? Oh, 19. Lord. Oh, crap. Five. Rip, Lizbeth. Uh-oh. 
Why I'll be it? here to has nice too short to fight. Oh. I rolled a 22, but it's not saying I did. Oh, I literally rolled a 1. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, man. L. It's rolled so poorly. Going on. Okay, give me a moment to bring up this thing. I'm gonna do the thing. I don't want it to do that, but I'll just delete it as soon as it happens. 22. I did. I did. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> Why don't you? You're welcome. Is it, uh, you're rolling on D and Beyond, it's not moving over? Yeah, it's not moving over. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember how I fixed that. Uh, was Ayla, some, what did something. you roll? Something with what? Uh, she was... rolled muted microphone. <laughs> Ayla. Uh, I'm trying to find where aye, the aye. thing is. God, even if you rolled with advantage, uh, TJ, he would have yeah, got a no. <laughs> five plus seven. Okay. My God, it's so one terrible. Minute, I'm trying to lose everything. I'm in a tree. One moment. Do you want me to roll for you? Hi. Uh, sure. Okay. Please don't fall out of the so tree. Time to get out of the tree. I've done it before. It's okay. Okay. Were you fallen out of the tree before? No, I think she's, she's fallen out of a tree during one of our sessions. Before. Yeah. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> he has. I don't remember that. <laughs> yes. I remember that. Acrobatics critical fail. <laughs> what Both session fall. was that? Big L. I don't remember. Sutradha. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm going back to get snooted. Okay. So as you guys run over to see what's wrong with the horse, you guys see. Um, that you are currently being surrounded by not just wolves, um, but there are oh, also oh, no. <laughs> there are also some goblins, um, goblins riding Shoot. wolves. Um, oh, nice! And it oh, seems no. oh, yeah. it seems as if um, this have my, this is my this whoa words this might have been there is <laughs> that's the that's the phrase I was looking for. This might have been a trap. Somehow oh, that cool. somehow they were able to get your wheel loose. It's very fun and fresh and fun. You guys did roll like a nat one or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, on the on lookout. The, on the yeah. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure like me and Ayla both were literally asleep during our watches. So he yep. literally did. He yep. just fell asleep during your watch. Actions have consequences. Uh -huh. What? Oh my god. Okay. Actions yeah, have you consequences. Can't, you can't punish me. I can't. Me I can't no believe my actions have. I can't. Okay, so, um, Fred, you are up first. Okay. Um, Fred is <laughs> going to tentatively wave at all the the wolves and the guards. He's he's not going to make an attack. Just okay. Oh, my <laughs> God. Don't you mean goblins? Excuse me. I, why did I say g guards? Yeah, goblins. Yeah, yeah. He's going to walk up. He's going to advance a little bit. How about we'll go, we'll, we'll do, we'll do that. He's going to walk up towards the wolf and that's it <laughs> oh god very nice oh hold on is i actually i messed up something so just give me a moment no worries okay. he is also waving tentatively at the wolf I hope you don't mind that I'm playing Smash while this is going on, because I'm not involved with this combat. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> You're not involved in this whatsoever, so... Do you mind if I play Smash, probably? Just <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Fred, you walk up and you're just waving to these wolves and these goblins? Yeah. Oh, I also need to put, um, Beauregard out. Oh, shit. Fred yeah, okay. total druid energy. Beauregard is going to stand by my... No, you know what? Beauregard's gonna stay by the group. Ooh. Okay, just give me a moment to get Beauregard. Thank you. I'll also be watching the or... Twitch chat every now and then, just in case anyone says anything. Alright. Beauregard tries to move towards Fred, and he, like, gives him a hand motion, like, it's okay. I'm, like, I'm chilling. Just stay back there. Okay, so I'm gonna say that uh, Beauregard's currently chilling right next to Ayla. Like right around there. Is that cool? Mm. 
Nice. Okay. Uh, oh my that... god, he's so cute! <laughs> that brings us to Muriel. You're up. We stand for our guard. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Back there for the win. Uh... Ah, whatever. You guys already know everything that's happening, so I'll leave the turn order out. Whoa, what? <laughs> Lisbeth Mortimer at last! What the what? hell? What? No. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> With a nat 1 and a nat 3? Who would have guessed? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, Burial's just going to move behind the cart, for, kind of for cover. And then I'm just going to end my turn that way. Okay, uh, you're not going to make any attacks or anything? No. Look it up. The most pacifistic party. <laughs> when it's when most inconvenient. Uh, yeah, this brings us to two of the wolves and two of the goblin archers. Okay. So, wolf number... Okay, so Fred, you said that you waved at the wolves? Yes. Could you make me a single persuasion check, please? Bet. Wolf stands up and goes, yes, you do have a point. 21. 21? I, I swear to oh God, God, it's not going into roll 20, though. Okay, so, um, that's fine. I trust you. Uh, you're not the type of person to cheat, so I trust you. Uh, yeah, um, I'm not going to cheat. This wolf comes up to you and is snarling at you, but does not attack you initially. So this one right here, it doesn't attack Aww. you. It's just, like, staring you down, wondering what the heck you're doing by waving... Um, this wolf here is going to make an attack at the, uh, horse. No! Oh no! Don't hurt the horse! Definitely hits. Uh, and I don't have my normal no. dice out, so I'll just roll the damage in here. So that's seven <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> that's so bad. Oh, I know, be, I know the problem. My Beyond 20 wasn't turned on. <laughs> that explains it. Yeah. And... The uh, horse does succeed at strength save, so it does not go prone. Yay! Yay! Um, goblin wolf rider number. Oh no, these are goblin archers, not wolf riders. Uh, goblin archer number one. This guy over here is going to move ever so slightly over here, and he's going to make an attack at Raywin. Oh no! Which is a miss. Oh, is it a miss? Yes, it is a miss. Goblin Archer number two is going to come over here. Uh, he does not care about Fred's waving, and he's going to make an attack at Fred. Nice. Which is an 18 to, 18 to hit. Uh, that does not hit. That does not I hit. I if Fred okay. catches an arrow in his head. Is that your AC, yeah. or do you have a higher uh, AC no, than No, my AC it is higher. Nice. Wow. Just Damn. Okie dokie. He is a Minotaur. That's true, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, and that is all of their turns. That brings us to Ayla, you're up. Come on, Ayla. Oh, yeah, you're also barbarian. Commit some murder. Right? Uh, you got, you, that's how you, that'd be how oh, you no. Okay. You okay, first off, you guys made me mess up some. Anyway, um, <laughs> I erased it, though. Um, would it be considered chaotic if I did something like super, super, super stupid just to prove what Mortimer said about this part of being a pacifist party wrong? But like at the yes. same time, it wastes Wait. a bunch of goddamn it. Okay. Probably I mean, that wasn't that wasn't in character, and also Mortimer didn't even say it. So I know, I know. Yeah, I didn't say shit. I, I don't know what's going on yet. I don't know where I'm going at yet. Mortimer got a initiative of one. <laughs> Not more than And I knew it wasn't interesting. Okay. Um the thing as to how they're attacking the horse. Oh, Fred has the defense fighting style, that's why. Uh, I could have sworn duh. that you were eighteen, but you have the defense fighting style, so you're nice. That makes sense. Oh shit. I forgot about that actually. That's fine. I'm going to cast Sleep at third level. Uh, okay, against what? 
like where are you casting it? Because I believe, if I yeah, remember correctly, uh, let me check out the map real quick because it's not loading. So I have like no idea what where the best position would be and what my movement to get there would be. So one second, trying to reload it. Yeah, it's a twenty foot radius. So yes, um, and you can cast it ninety feet away. So you can cast it pretty much anywhere that would hit people. I would probably recommend hitting it right here. All right. Because this will get Dire Wolf, Goblin Wolf Rider I 1, and Goblin Wolf Rider 2. What is Ava casting? Sleep. Uh. Okay. Sleep. No, I can. Oh. Hmm. You could cast it here, or you could cast it closer to you, but then you'd hit some of your own people. Can't you target people with sleep stuff? Uh, no, it goes to uh, the lowest HP first, regardless. Oh, yeah. Alright. Going to try to use my movement to get in between the wolves. The wolves are what we're going for, mostly. Uh, uh, you can cast it up to 90 feet away. Wolf two. Oh, okay. It's a 20-foot radius. Yeah. So I'm suggesting you do it up here, if you can see where my ping is. You see where okay, my ping Okay, ping one more time, because I think I'm actually... Okay, yes, I actually see that. Yeah, that will hit Goblin Wolf Rider 2, 1, and Dire Wolf. Do I have get there, though? No, you don't need it, because you can cast it up to 90 feet away, and it's a 20-foot radius. Yeah... Unless you want to put yourself to sleep, which would be a chaotic move. Do it. <laughs> I literally would die. So far, you're at. You've moved twenty okay. feet. You have another I mean, I didn't ten stop feet you of with movement. Height, okay. We'll go ahead and Ayla will go ahead and cast it in that little triangle where you ping. Okay. Um. Okay, roll... Because that does hit the dire wolf, which is what I was mainly trying to get for. Uh, what level did I'll you say that you're casting it? Third or second? Or first? Third level. Third level? Okay, so roll Third. me... Uh, was it 68? Uh, I believe so. One moment. Oh no, it's uh, actually a 98. Oh my goodness. It's 5d8 plus 2d8 for every slot above first level. Watch me roll all in that one. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, does, with the goblin wolf riders, does the wolf they're riding and the goblin itself have different health pools? Uh, sort of, but for this purpose, no, they don't. Okay. 37? Uh, if only it started with the highest, because that's that's exactly how much health the uh, dire wolf has. Um, um, but you are able to put to sleep one of the wolf riders, and I will mark that one down. That is disappointing. I want to get I want to get the wolf. So the one in the one in front is currently asleep. Is that both the wolf and the goblin are asleep? No, uh, just the, the wolf one. oh yes, the goblin wolf rider. Yes, it considers both of them to be asleep. <laughs> Te technically speaking, there Whoa. is a separate there is a separate thing, but but it's it's based off of T too much macro. Yeah, it's too much. <laughs> yeah, no, let's go. Cool. Okay. Uh, anything I've been else, Ayla? In the uh, same situation as Jason, I, it's just easier to pull their health into one. Um. Right now, no. Okay. Uh, that brings us to the direwolf's turn. And the direwolf is going to... Uh, run up to Ayla. And make an attack Ow. at Ayla. He doesn't want to go to sleep. Which is a 20 to hit. Soft 20, not at 20. Guys, I need you to roll me a strength saving throw and take 10 points right. of piercing damage. All right, one moment. It will be so amusing if I 
totally bomb this. <laughs> Alright. Damage taken. Now let's see if I slow. Oh, damn it. Uh, 12. I believe that fails. Give me two seconds. Yeah, that fails. So you are knocked prone to the floor. Oh, shit. Ow. Rip. So you guys see as the dire wolf runs up, uh, bites Ayla's uh, arm and just chucks her down to the floor. Jesus. Uh, that brings us to the Goblin Wolf Rider's turn, one of which is asleep, so it's only the second one. Uh, how far is their short bow attack? Okay. Uh, Let's see. Okay, I'm going to rule that um, I'm going to allow this. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to allow myself to do so. Okay, so my reasoning for this is essentially the wolf is attempting to wake them up while the goblin is shooting at uh, somebody. Uh, the oh, goblin is going to shoot idea. shoot at the horse specifically. Which is a nat 20, so the horse, unfortunately. Oh my god. You guys oh. hear as you guys hear and see as a uh, arrow just uh, spikes right into the horse's neck and the, the horse neighs out. I can't do a horse neigh. That was my best horse neigh. And falls down <laughs> falls down to the floor and the uh, human man screams out, Pick it! No! Pick it! Oh, oh, this is oh, how oh pick it! That's a really wide X, but we'll leave it. That's fine. <laughs> Don't know yeah, why I made boy. that so, so wide. Uh, okay, uh, and that brings us to Lisbeth. Right, and the uh, other Goblin Wolf Rider is now up, but they cannot make their turn. Uh, can I move on top of the carriage? Uh, yes, I'll allow it. It will take, right. I'll say, five feet of movement to do so, but I don't think you're going to move very far. So. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move up on top of the carriage. I'm going to raise my arms and start... Uh, it sounds basically like chanting something in Celestial, and I don't think any of you speak Celestial. My eyes are going to glow, and you're all going to feel a little luckier as I cast Bless on everyone. Uh, nice. Well, on, on my party. Uh, Ayla, Fred, <laughs> Mariel, leaves the good Christina. Okay. No, cast it on the Dark Wolf. So, you, <laughs> everybody has Bless? Yes. Okay. Except Thank for me. You. Except for you. Gotcha. And, yeah, and um, I need to yeah. roll for my thing. Um, uh, how do I roll on this again? Yeah. Do you mind on putting Bless in chat just so I can read it? Sorry, I'm not well versed. Alright. You get to add a d4 to ability check, or ability... Oh, I'm, I'm casting it at second. Whatever whatever it's called. Which allows him Saving to throws. get an additional one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how do I... How do I what's the macro to roll on, uh, d, uh, on row 20? Uh, slash r space uh, 1 d20. Alright. Or you can click on the... Um, it, 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 it okay. it's, it's not, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. But. That is my turn. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Mortimer. You're up. Oh, you guys both had your turns at the same time. I apologize for that. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. No worries. I okay. I'll remember, I'll remember, I'll remember next time. Yours. All right. So, Mortimer coming to the realization we're in the middle of combat, latest, seeing the horse already fucking dead, like, oh, immediately runs up to the guy over here. What was his name? God. You never asked his name. <laughs> okay, putting a hand on his, putting a hand on his shoulder. I said, "Can you use a weapon? Can you use a bow?" He's just crying. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <am> I... <laughs> okay. Pick an MVP. Looking around, um, I'm gonna. Not. <laughs> is is he clearly not responding to me? Yes, he's clearly not responding to you. Okay, I'm going to. Heave him over my shoulder and try and uh, chuck him in the thing here. <laughs> okay, make Just me a. He's out of trouble. Make me a acrobatics. No, yeah, uh, a, no athletics check at advantage. At advantage. Yes. You don't need to roll very high. Okay, that's high yeah. enough. Okay. Your second one was Thank not, God. but your first one was high enough. Yep. Yeah. Um. So you're able to pick him up and chuck him into the into the cart. Yep. Okay. Cool. Actually, does that does it, hang on? Does that apply to? I'm ninety percent sure this doesn't apply to quick hands. Well, but 
<laughs> to quick is hands? Is he considered an object that you can use no. as an action? <laughs> no. Well, that's, a, that's a societal issue, TJ. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, um, so that was my action, I guess. Okay. And then, uh, Mortimer will also, uh, hop on top of the, um, carriage as well, Flisbert. Okay. Yeah. And I will draw my short bow. Okay. Yep. Meanwhile, your own is just it. peacefully swimming. Yeah. <laughs> your own is having a good time. He's vibing. Oh my god. Okay, uh, and anything else? Um, okay, so I, I moved action to throw the guy in. Bonus I, I mean, I you drew still my have a, short You bow. still have a bonus action. Okay, as a bonus action, I'll also just ready some rope. Like, I'll take it around and, um... I'll, I'll have my, like, the arm I'm, short, I'm holding my short bow with. I'll also have, like, a string of rope just hooked around, like, my okay. pinky or something. Yeah, just okay. ready. Cool. Uh, Fred, Fred, you're up. There is one wolf currently uh, attacking you, and Ayla is to your right and is prone and being attacked by a very large dire wolf. And Pickett is now dead. Yeah. And we're all sad. No. No! <laughs> not Pickett. Okay. Seeing that, um... Seeing that Ayla is being attacked by the wolf. You know what? Um, he's going to go into a rage. And... Um... I need to think about what I want to do. Ranger Barbarian! He's gonna, he's gonna draw his mace oh, and go... Go at the at the wolf. So okay. he'll he'll walk up here and give it a beat down. Oh, what? But before he uh, beats up the wolf, he's just gonna say, "I'm. Do you need to calm down. I'm doing this for your own good." Okay. <laughs> Even though the wolf can't understand him, and then he's gonna. Beat him up. Okay. So for, first, okay. before you before you do this, I just want to oh, remind shit, you sorry. if you're if you move up ten feet. Oh my goodness, that's a nat twenty. Um. Uh, <laughs> I just, I just, okay. went, I just went over to your character sheet, Fred. You realize we're level five, right? We leveled up. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! I'll do that after this turn. Okay. <laughs> I'm um, sorry. So if you move up ten feet, you will provoke opportunity from the other wolf. If you only move up five feet, you will not provoke, but you'll still be able to attack. Oh, then do you mind if I move back? That's Fred perfectly fine. Yes. Slow learner. I didn't <laughs> I am a very slow learner. No worries I, I, at all. And I, also, I just wanted to remind you also, of it. Thank you, thank um, you, Jason. Uh, Lisbeth, were you the one who looked Go at Fred's character sheet? Yeah. yeah, just, no? um, yeah. I'm gonna, oh, um, I can't act loss of Slayer damage, right? Okay. Lisbeth, so, yeah. I would recommend you get used to this as uh, Fred that did that a lot as Drawd. So much. Like, <laughs> at least 50% of the level ups. I would specifically tell everyone at the end of the session, don't forget to level up. Drawd, don't forget to level up. And Drawd <laughs> like, would still okay. forget to level up. And then, like, right before the next session starts, I'm like, at Drawd, level up. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Get you, so get used to him not leveling up. Yeah, okay. no, it, it happens. Then okay. so, get, um, get used to so, Fred so not leveling is up. Is that 10 damage or uh, only 4? Or, I that's don't know. 9 how. damage. Oh, but. Oh, okay. I see it. Alright, cool, yeah. cool. Alright. Um. Uh, anything else during your turn? Uh, as a bonus action, he will do nothing. Um, That's it. Yep. Okay. Very nice. You already used your bonus. Oh wait, grade. shit! Oh, and no, I didn't move twenty feet. Oh, yeah. You did oh, use your bonus that's a good point. Grade. You're fucking right. Okay. Wait, okay. can I make another attack? Uh, no, you are not a level five um, ranger or barbarian oh. yet, so you do not have a second uh, attack yet. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, that brings us to Muriel. You're up. Mm -hmm. Ariel, are you there? Malake? Uh, Muriel? Uh, all texture. Are all you texture. dead? Don't die. Oh, I saw oh, green. No, Muriel! Muriel's here. I'm back. Okay, welcome back. It's your turn. Right, it's Okay, um. Alright, Muriel. Uh, I just second. Alright. Um. 
Let's see if I have enough room to move there. Okay. And she's going to do, um, she's gonna punt, she's gonna kick the wolf with one <laughs> of her legs and attempt to shove the wolf down on the ground with this kick. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> the one that was friendly to Fred. <laughs> fuck it up. No, fuck it up. Okay, make me, <laughs> I want you to make me two different rolls. First, make me a unarmed strike roll. And then make me a okay. strength roll. Uh, strength a a roll athl you said? Athletics. Okay. So that is the unarmed strike. Okay, so the unarmed strike hits. So you can roll me damage for the unarmed strike for kicking. I so forgot the damage. Mario was a monk for a sec. I was like, why are you rolling unarmed strike damage? Uh, <laughs> um, and then roll Which me in athletic because... strike. Alright. Uh, I, I don't think it's coming to play yet, but everyone remember you do have bless. Oh, shit. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Um, it, it, it wouldn't have mattered for you, Fred, because you rolled a natural 20. Oh, right. I forgot. Uh, do... That would be for attack roll, so it wouldn't apply to the strength roll, I'm assuming. Uh, um, if it's a saving throw, but not if it's a strength check. It is not a yeah. saving throw. It's just a general check, a athletics check. And you so said athletics for the yep. check? Yep. Okay. 20, not natural. Okay, so unfortunately he rolled a nat 20, the wolf rolled a nat 20 on its acrobatics check. So you were able to kick the, okay. kick the wolf, but he kind of uh, moves his body uh, as you kick it. As you kick him and starts looking towards you, what, do you, what else? And then, do? Um, for my second attack action, I'm going to punch the wolf in the side. Okay, roll me another um, attack. And this one is going to be the intelligent unarmed strike. Yep. Thirteen. Uh, roll me the bless. Because that does not hit. Oh, wait, actually, that does hit. I was looking at your, your thing. So roll with. Uh, roll, roll the, the yeah. 1D4. Yeah, roll the one d four anyway. Okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll one d four. One. <laughs> Good enough. Um, okay. okay. Uh, roll damage for that. Okay. Ooh, eight points of damage as you um, uh, you punch it in the side. Uh, it whimpers and falls over and uh, passes out on the floor. So that is one wolf down. That was a nice amount of damage. You got one of its weak points. Uh, you want to do anything else? And um, let's see. Cause and I'm going to end my turn. Okay. Uh, that brings us to the wolves and the goblin archers. There's only one wolf remaining, which is the wolf that helped participate in the killing of Pickett, so we should all hate that wolf. And that wolf is going to go over to Ayla Agreed. and make an attack at Ayla yeah. with, with double advantage, which is a thing. Remember, double advantage is a thing here. In my campaigns, double advantage exists. Sweet, sweet. Um, yeah. Doesn't apply in this situation. Wait, actually. Doesn't apply in this situation, but still exists. Ayla does a 15 hit. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, you take nine points of piercing damage. And I would tell you to make. I would tell you to make a strength save, but you are you're already prone, so. Okay. Uh, and now it is the Golden Archers. 
Goblin Archer number one is going to move over here and is going to make an attack at Mortimer. Which is a oh, 20... Fuck. 21. Does a 21 hit? 21? Uh, yeah, that's a straight hit. Okay, so that is three points of piercing damage. And he's Holy going to attack again, which is a 16. Does a 16 hit? Uh, 16 does not, because I okay. have a shield, yeah. Okay, so you, um, you're you suddenly surprised by uh, an arrow going into your back, but you turn around and quickly pull your shield up and uh, okay. block the Ooh, second nice. uh, arrow coming towards you. The other right. goblin archer nice. is going to jump down and then make a single attack against Fred. Actually, two attacks against Fred. Nice. First one's in that one. Uh, so the first one... Uh, you see as he just uh, releases his bow and it just kind of like plops onto the floor. <laughs> and the second one's a, fif uh, a 15, oh. which I know doesn't hit. So the second one, um, he gets really angry and pulls again and shoots at you, but then ends up shooting his wolf friend that's already dead. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Fre Fred's oh, gonna no. give a polite nod at the Goblin Rider guy. <laughs> like, a nod of acknowledgement. Uh, he does not seem very happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that brings us to Ayla, you're up. Alright, one moment. You're currently prone. Okay. Um. Alright. So, Ayla is gonna get up using move. Okay. And... So you still have 15 feet of movement. Yeah. But there are also two wolves currently attacking you within 5 feet. Ayla's gonna say, actually, let me check, just one. Oh my god. Hold on, things are reloading. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go pee really quick. Ayla's gonna cast darkness. Alright, don't die. Uh, where are you casting it? You have, uh, ten... Directly on. Directly... <laughs> with... ah! <laughs> what just happened? Okay, so you're casting Follow. darkness on yourself? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> Darkness on myself. And try to use movement to move away. Hello, can you guys hear me? Uh, Hello. yes, yeah. but there's yeah. lots of noise going on right now. Sorry. Home run. Okay. Uh, so is everybody? You just put darkness on your entire team, just FYI. Everybody oh in your God, team can now I no longer see. What did I miss? Also, I'm pretty sure wolves I'm have doing like, this something with no to do with smell attack. where they can do it, like, like they can attack even in dark. Because uh, yeah, they they can still attack, and it's at disadvantage. But because they're next to each other, it's at normal. So you're getting two <laughs> straight attacks against you. Uh, but how far how far are you running away? How far are you running away? You have 15 feet of movement, oh, so I'm you're still going to be in the darkness. I'm trying to run straight towards the wagon. Okay. So I'm going to say you move there, um, and there are two uh, attacks of opportunity against you. First is an 18. Does an 18 hit? Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, you take eight <laughs> points of piercing damage. Okay. Oh, um, dear. second is a 14. Does a 14 hit? Thank God, no. Okay. Uh, I am pretty sure I'm going to follow around constant. Uh, yes, dark, well, actually, is it? Is it, um, I think uh, it still is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, my gosh. 
You can add plus uh, a d4 to this. Yes. Alright, one moment. <laughs> no. Oh, oh my god. It's okay. It's better. <laughs> so this is magical darkness, yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. we can't yeah. we can't see it through. Yeah, it. this is magical darkness and you're just barely in it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Okay. Uh, regar regardless of the the bless, uh, you fail your concentration, so the darkness goes away immediately. Oh, cool. Hon honestly, for the that better, was, because I was, can't heal you if I can't see you. So it just goes dark, then fucking fails immediately in like four seconds. Yep, that's exactly what happens. But Ayla got away with only getting one attack instead of two, so I guess that's a, a benefit. Is there anything else you'd like to and do, Ayla? And that's why I casted the darkness, though, because if they had both hit me, I would have fallen unconscious. So I did actually think that through. Okay. Uh, you still have your bonus action if you'd like to use it. Um, Dash. Wagon. Get in the wagon and just, like... Uh, I you you don't have bonus action, You're Dash. not You're a, a rogue. Bard. You're a bard. You, oh, can't, wait, you can't do that. <laughs> You can yeah, Bardic sir. Inspiration, uh, or you can Mantle of Inspiration. Wait, she's not a bard? She is a bard. She is a bard. Oh, oh, she can't okay, okay. bonus action dash because she dash. is a bard. Got it, yeah. got it, got yeah. it, got it. Sorry. I was playing a character earlier today, and I was rogue, sorry. Um, no worries. What I am going to do, though, is now, now that I can see, I'm going to cast Mantle of Inspiration on my party so that you all can so nice. have eight temporary hit points. Hey. Good. Yep, so everybody can add, except Yuroni, can add eight temporary hit points. <laughs> except <laughs> Yuroni. See, see, I didn't say that because oh, Yuroni right. and Ayla are kind of getting along. For now. Kind of. For but Yuroni's not here. <laughs> yeah, Yuroni's literally not here with us. <laughs> Yuroni is miles away from you guys currently. Yuroni is no longer with us. Okay, um, that brings us to doo -doo -doo -doo, the dire wolf. <gasps> Baby. Oh. Uh, who the dire wolf is? If you guys want to take movement, you can also real quick on my turn because of my. Oh movement. yeah. Oh, that's right. Um, and Wait, it doesn't provoke opportunity if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yep, yeah, without provoking. So everybody, um. Everybody can move up to your movement speed right now without any opportunity attacks. Okay. So you can move up to 30 feet Ooh, okay. um, or more if you're a, a monk because you guys have 40 feet of movement. Or less if you're Lisbeth because you're a, a gnome. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, Lisbeth's going to stay put. Uh, Fred, do you want to like, move anywhere? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I just felt really inspired oh, to run away. Fun. It's not your turn. Um, oh, oh uh, we can just move if we want. Yes, and no yeah, opportunity attack. No, I think I'm going to stay put. Okay. I'm staying put, this too. Okay. Entire combat, Ayla has dealt absolute zero damage, yet she's taken 27. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, that's what you get for being a bard in the very front line. Yep. Okay. It is now the direwolf's turn. Who is going to turn over to Fred and make an attack at Fred? And let me. Okay, that's check. very rude of it to do that. <laughs> you just hit it with a maze. He just manners <laughs> physically, which is a twenty a twenty two to hit. So I'm assuming that hits. that hits. Yeah. It Remem does. Uh, remember, yeah. you're raging, so all uh, all physical damage is halved. Yeah. So you take five points okay. of piercing damage because it's eleven halved is five. Cool. Uh, but I do need you to make me a strength saving throw. But you get okay, a, you get a d4 on this. I'll get yeeted. Oh yeah. You also get and advantage because I... you're raging. Yes. Oh true. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Oh, I forgot that there was advantage. Okay, yeah, you have no excuse to but fail. Where and if you is do, it's my save? Embarrassing. Okay, yeah, saves. You... Here we go. Okay, so I have strength. Okay, so that's that. If it works. Okay, okay. that's good. Good enough. Then... You don't even need to roll again. Twenty three is okay. plenty. Yeah, strength is my good. 
that. So <laughs> this this wolf just bites into your arm and tries to pull you down, but you're just like holding on and be like, "What are you? What are you doing?" <laughs> Can I pat it on its head? Yes, I will allow you to pat it on its head. He's he's gonna pat. That's it. not food, silly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, now it is the boy. goblin wolf rider's turn, who are both now awake this time. Oh boy. Cool, cool, cool. So, this goblin wolf rider here is going to um, attack Fred twice. Um, That's mean. The first one's not at advantage and is with the short bow, which is a nat one, so that misses. Mm -hmm. Uh, The second one is going to be a melee attack, and that is going to be at advantage. Oh, is it right up next to me now? Yes. Okay. Which is a natural 20. Um, That hits. That's the AC, right? Uh, Yes. Uh, And that will be 5 plus 6 is 11 points of damage. So another 5 points of uh, piercing damage. Okay. Uh, this other goblin rider is going to make an attack at um, Muriel, which is a 22 to hit. Okay. It's, um, can I attempt to do um, the... Is it an arrow? Yes, it's an arrow. The first one's an arrow. It's going okay, to be attacking I, you twice. Can I te- attempt to deflect the missile? Uh, yep. So roll for that. Ooh, deflect missile. Go Wait. off. You should yeah, be able to get. You should be able to get all of it because it's only five should. minutes of damage. Okay. Should. And then plus plus flank level. Oh yeah, it's. Eight. Yes. <laughs> even if and you rolled I'm a nat, even if you rolled a nat zero, is still enough. <laughs> um, I'm going to spend a key point to deflect it back and do damage. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember how that works. Um, it's one d six. Oh. So plus, roll, um, roll, roll intelligent, one. roll intelligent unarmed strike. That's the, that's what you would do essentially. That's the that's the roll. It's not actually an intelligent unarmed yeah. strike, but that's the plus to hit. So. Four points of damage. Oh no! You need to roll to hit first. Oh, oops, sorry. Roll. Uh, uh, that's just D twenty, I believe. Uh, D twenty plus five. It's a snap oh. one. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you do this really cool thing, and you like start to move the arrow in the air, and then you just like drop it suddenly, and it's like, oh, well, that was gonna be really cool. Fine. Oh, no. You're just gonna pick up um, the, the um the arrow and put it in your belt. Okay. <laughs> Throw it next to. <laughs> Uh, and then the wolf rider is going to come up to you, making the wolf that's at its feet that it's riding is going to make a bite attack against you, which is a fifteen. Does a fifteen hit? A fifteen uh, does hit. So that is seven points of piercing damage. Okay, um, that brings us to Lisbeth and Mortimer. You guys can choose which order you guys go in. Yes. Okay. Uh, Do you mind if I go first? Go first? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so you know how I had that rope in my hand? With my- yes. So as a bonus action for fast hands, I'm going to tie the rope to my arrow currently. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot the dire wolf with the okay. arrow, but like the rope attached. Okay, roll to hit. Yes. Um, so with add Bless, people, uh, do I roll Bless before. before or after? Uh, uh it after. Matter. It doesn't really matter, yeah. Okay. If it if it's not enough, I'm gonna try it's, it's not. It. It's not something that you can use up. Like, you have it for the rest of the combat unless I lose concentration. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. I thought it was like the Bardic Inspiration. Okay, cool. Nice. Alright. Yeah, Bless and Bane are very powerful. Uh, I, so I, 13, I roll, roll the d4. Uh, give me that D4, please. I usually consider uh, Bless more powerful just because they, they don't have a chance of, like, saving against it. 
because like with Bane, especially since my charisma no! is really high intelligence. Okay, ah! so fourteen does hit, but that is is its AC. So roll damage, and it's going to do half. And I'm going to okay. say that it, whatever it's you're trying good. to do with the um, rope, is not going to work. It's going to fall off. Ah shit! Damn it. Okay. Okay. And I just as a free <laughs> action, can I just like, whip the. Can I just whip the rope back into my hands? Yeah, a... you, can, you can do that as a free action. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, and I just say that's still nineteen points. No, oh, nineteen half. Holy though. shit! Yeah, nineteen half. So, so wait, is that sneak attack though? I don't think that's sneak attack. Um, uh, right there. What? I'm trying to remember. He's not being he's not being flanked or anything, right? But are you? What type of? Um, thief. Thief. If another, yeah, you don't need an advantage on the attack roll if there's another enemy of the target within five feet of it, and oh. that is true. Oh, okay. Oh, just straight up. Oh, yep. Okay. Nice. Holy shit. Right. Um. Okay. So whipping the rope back, I also say to Lisbeth, um, "Was it go like stay close to me, protect you if they try to shoot you?" And then looking around, why are you I... Scottish? Uh... Scottish. That's not Scottish. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Yes. Is that your turn? Um, yeah, more. Is is dodge a thing in this for movement, or is it at full action? That's, that's a, a that's, that's an action, action or, or bonus, bonus action, action if you're a rogue. But you've yeah. already ah, used shit, both. Never, yeah, I've already used both. Never mind. All right. I'm going to. Uh, I still have my hands up for bless. I'm gonna lower one and uh, aiming at the uh, same direwolf that she just shot and cast uh, celestial boat. Okay, roll the hit. Uh, Ooh. That's a natural 20. Okay, hey. roll damage. Uh, that's 15. No, wait, that'd be 15 doubled, I think. Oh, Not please, please. quite doubled. It's 15 plus another 20. You again, right? Oh, please tell me the why is it? Why die. is it plus another 20? Because uh, it, it's max damage of just the die. Oh, it is just oh. another. It is just another twenty. It's not doubled. It's so I use different rules. Um, I use crits are max damage ex extra instead of doubled. Oh, okay. So then, yeah, that's thirty-five points. Thirty-five points of damage. Um, could you please describe how you hit this thing with your celestial? Bolt? No. <laughs> is it dead? Yeah. Yes, it's it's dead. Then then I fucking like it's like a death beam. It like <laughs> just leaves a burning hole through the through the wolf, like through the skull out the other end. Ooh, you guys Fuck. can see all of its innards at this point. Oh my god! Pet was just uh, patting this thing on the head, and then suddenly a celestial bolt just goes <laughs> straight through it and leaves a hole in its head. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. okay. That's awesome. Well, the like, one that almost yeah. killed Ayla. So hell yeah! And <laughs> speaking of which, uh, I'm going to bonus action turn around. And throw Ayla one of my pink orb morphine things uh, and cast healing word. Drugs. Okay. Roll, yeah, the, roll for healing. Ayla's gonna become addicted to drugs now. Uh, Thanks. Seven you said damage. do drugs. <laughs> 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 I think I I I think that was Mortimer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, can you guys hear me? That's just yeah. a little messaging. Yeah, we can hear you. Crap. I need to meet with that. Hold on. You heal seven damage, Ayla. Thank you. Uh, what happens on level two? Level three, I mean. Uh, am I at level three? Yeah, because you've done twice. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, everyone. I, oh, I get advantage on in initiative checks and. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, out. I see. I can. I it's, have the next, of it's the level after this that something significant happens. Well, not significant, but. Okay. Uh. Okay, that brings us back to Fred. You're up. Okay, if I used cure wounds on the wolf, could I get it to come back to life? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, that's a Please. good question that I don't know the answer to. Let me. I mean, okay. it's it's in it got eviscerated. I, by a I don't know I, if like non uh, like, if like non characters roll death saves. Oh, true. That would be up to uh, you if they do yeah. or not. Uh, I, me and Lisbeth were not aware that we were trying to befriend this wolf. I'm sorry. I no, it, it was Fred's plan, and I didn't think about it soon enough to 
warn you guys to not kill yeah, the I wolf. I mean, so. that's <laughs> also that's it, also it, the wolf that you attacked with a mace yeah, and that almost is. killed Ayla. So. No, it is definitely <laughs> not your fault. That That is exactly... Yeah. It sounds like you and this wolf have an abusive relationship. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah. Player's Handbook just makes a suggestion saying that important enemies should and non-important enemies should not. And okay. this is a non-important enemy. But yeah. I will I will say if you if you really want to, you would need to cast it at the highest level that you can. How long would it take me to do that? Well, I mean, well, no, not single sorry, action. That's not my question. That's uh, not my question. He, sorry. I, if, I, I, how long I can I to wait this. to do that? Um, you don't know. Nah, fuck. Uh, I hate to do this, but you are raging, so you cannot cast. Spells. Oh, you're that's right, also true. You're yeah, right, you can't cast right. spells. Okay, okay, oh, okay. No. So that's cool. I I won't go out of the rage. I'll I'll just leave the wolf dead. That's okay. I will. <laughs> it's all right. I will. Um. Well, actually, can I go out of a rage? Don't uh, you, kill me, guys. You I'm have sorry. to use you have to use your bonus action to exit your rage. Okay, I'll use my bonus action to do that. <laughs> okay. And then and then I'm gonna. Cast here. It's the only level that I can cast it out is first level. Okay, That's... I'm gonna say it cast. It uses two spell slots then, because I, I need to have okay. some sort of okay, right drawback yeah, to it. So I'm gonna say it uses two two spell slots for this. Okay. Okay. Well, healing four points of healing. You guys suddenly yeah. see as Fred puts it <laughs> puts uh, his hands down on on this <laughs> dire wolf, and the dire wolf just like. It stands up and is like is, is really good. confused and doesn't understand what's happening, as it still has like a hole in it, but the hole is like currently like reforming on itself. <laughs> it wakes up and screams, "Kill me! Kill me!" <laughs> Let me die. Fred, Fred's, Fred's gonna turn to the rest of the party. In character, he says, "Don't kill it." <laughs> Out of character, I'm really sorry. Did, <laughs> I that I didn't make that clear. Didn't you see that thing rip a piece out of El, uh, rip a piece out of Ayla's leg before? <laughs> Just let me try oh. something. Always, oh, always say the wrong animal now. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna shrug. Eh, that's all right. That's what I'm doing. My leg will heal. Oh shit! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's uh uh he's. He's going to walk in front of the wolf and attempt to... You have two other wolves there! Stare it down. <laughs> I love Fred so much. <laughs> Literally, Fred could fucking, like, destroy the, the wolf rider right now, but he's choosing not to. Um, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna stare it down. Peace is always an option. He's, he's gonna... I, he can't say anything else or do anything else, so he's just gonna stare it down in an attempt to kind of like try to pacify it okay roll me intimidation i guess okay Whoop. 16 okay i will let you know what happens during the dire wolf's turn cool <laughs> uh -oh. okay i'm done um that brings us to muriel you're up um, Muriel is going to attempt to snap back the gold uh the goblin wolf rider's hands behind his back um. Okay. <laughs> Roll me the attack. Hold them so that, like, so okay, so you're trying to, you're trying to, I, I got it. Roll, roll me athletics check. Basically, like a prison, like behind yeah. the back thing. Yeah, roll me an athletics check. Meanwhile, while Fred is befriending the wolves, Muriel is uh, taking the goblins prisoner. <laughs> We're the law enforcement here. We love this party so much. Okay. So as you go to reach up to grab this uh, goblin and reach behind its back, uh, the wolf right below it bites at your hands and you you jump back before it hits you or anything like that. But So you're not able to uh, right. tie um, that up. All right. And then uh, she's... She's going to attempt to punch the goblin rider off the horse. Okay. Roll to hit. Uh, remember, you can add a, you remember, you can add a d uh, a d4. Oh, okay. I will do that. The life of a cleric. Reminding so seventeen. They have blessed. Okay, so seventeen. Yeah. That hits. Roll, roll for damage. 
Nice. Oh, uh, I was going to say that you weren't going to dismount it, but you did. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Um, okay. Um, not only did you dismount it, um, as you attack this uh, goblin and knock it down with your leg, uh, kicking it off, it doesn't get back up as it's thrown to the floor. So... The goblin is dead. The wolf still remains. Wait, the goblin is dead? Yeah, you just killed the goblin. <laughs> Lethal force. I was just knocking it prone. He resisted arrest. <laughs> Again, like, <laughs> Yoroni literally killed a man for saying books are dumb. And we're like, oh no, not the wolf. Not the wolf that I forgot killed that us. that happened. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> um, anything else, Muriel? Point? You've killed a goblin. Hang on. Uh, okay. Just um, a question, Jason. Is this during the first night? I uh, know this oh. is. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It was day, day, night, morning. So this is second day. Ah, dang. Okay. It would have been hilarious if this was happening at the same time as. Uh, when I tried to rest on that island. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That that would be fucking hilarious. But two things happen at once. And then, um Are you moving over there? That will provoke opportunity for Yeah, the and then she's going to attempt to do to pull back the goblin archer's hands behind his back, like she tried to for the goblin wolf rider. Okay, I'm gonna say that's not possible because you've already used up um two attack actions. Okay, that's fine. Um, Are you still moving there? Because that just... will provoke opportunity. Okay, I'll just instead of there, um, I I'll just stay right here then, and then I'll end my turn. That's... Or back there rather. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll end my turn. Okay. Uh, oh, that... Can I actually wait one last thing? Um, and then I'm gonna spend a key point for uh, patient defense. Okay. Uh, that brings us to the wolf and goblin archer's turn. The wolf is going to, because it's not very smart, uh, make an attack at Fred, even though Fred just resurrected <laughs> its mother, essentially. The wolf is going to attack Fred. Uh, it does miss, though, as it rolled a natural one. So the, the wolf is very confused, okay. looks over to its mother, and is like, what's happening? And just bites at Fred and completely misses. Mom, did I do good? Um... This goblin archer over here is going to move down even more and is going to actually make an attack at Liz one at Lisbeth, one at Mortimer. The one at Lisbeth is I, a 20. I use my reaction to give it disadvantage on Lisbeth with my shield. Ooh. Okay. It's still a 20. Roll two 15s. Oh, it's, ni it's, ni it's 19. Sorry, not 20. It's 19. I thought it was plus 5. It's plus 4. But it rolled two uh, 15s. God damn it. Why can't I roll like that? Uh, so five points of piercing damage. I, I, I still have temporary hit points. Thank you, Halo. Uh, and then the second attack is at you, Mortimer. Yep. Which, oh my goodness, is another 19 because I rolled another 15. Jesus. Three 15s in a row. I don't have anything. I'm assuming oh, that wait, hits. Uh, yes. Oh wait. Uh, 19, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I keep concentration on blast. Uh, six points of damage, Mortimer. Six. Temporary hit points. Thank you, Ayla. Okay, that brings us to the temporary hit point person, Ayla. <laughs> All right. One moment. Dealing with idiots on my end. Nobody. Bum, bum. Guys, don't you hate it when you deal with idiots? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, who are we talking about? No, wait, nobody's an idiot here. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's, that's all I meant. 
Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, that's not I what I was checking. trying to imply. <laughs> okay, cool. I appreciate the caution, but... Except for maybe me. Okay. <laughs> like, no yeah. offense, but oh, yeah, yeah, no. It won't let me... <laughs> I nice. am literally zoned in on Goblin Archer number two, and I can't zo uh, zoom out. <laughs> that sucks. It won't let it's me. <laughs> it's telling you attack this one. Attack <laughs> this one very specifically. Yeah. Look at his yellow shirt. <laughs> oh my god! It won't let me. Huh? Okay, I'll be in soon. No. What? Well, there goes that plan. <laughs> okay, um, Ayla's in cart. Uh, what's the distance away from the other? Okay, from where Ayla is now, where? What is the distance to the closest goblin? The closest goblin? Yeah. Twenty feet. Twenty feet. Yes. All right. Double check. Alright, I need the goblin to make a wisdom saving throw. What are you casting? Vicious mockery. I'm okay with having some potato tonight. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Please tell us how that potato goes. And those apples. <laughs> um, uh, it rolled an 11. Okay. It does not succeed. It was uh, 15 for my... Okay, so roll damage. Yep. What do you say as it, at it as you <laughs> viciously mock it? Ayla is going to look to the goblin and oh just give off a small little laugh. <laughs> wow, not even in the middle wolves want to side with you. Cool. Ow. <laughs> Careful with your mics. <laughs> Vicious mockery. <laughs> I lost my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, so seven points of damage. Finally, something. Damn. And then I'm going to turn toward Muriel, because Muriel seems to be doing probably the most amount of damage output. And give Muriel Bardic Inspiration. Okay, so Muriel, you have uh, one Bardic Inspiration die. And that's to add to attack and saving rolls, I believe? Uh, it's whatever you choose, you can add to whatever you want. Okay, and that's a D4? 1 D8. D8? Okay. Yeah, it's a D8 because yeah. she's level Bardic level 5. And with that, Ayla shall end her season. Okay. Uh, that brings us to the direwolf who's now alive again because Fred has graciously <laughs> resurrected it. Uh, and the direwolf is going to actually, let me roll one second. Okay, so the direwolf is going to uh, howl into the air and then oh, start. Oh, fuck. And then, nope, and then start running away. No! No! What? <laughs> Dang <laughs> it! No, so don't run all the way! Wait, can Fred follow it? Fred, <laughs> During your the turn, yes. possible outcome, okay? <laughs> I was gonna okay. use Oh god, you have to run it. through... <laughs> you, have, you have to run through between Wait, two fucking enemies. What? Fred, yeah, if you... Fred hasn't been doing anything. Fred, if you would like to, you may make an at attack of opportunity. Um, can I make a flip, can I make like a friendly ta attack of opportunity? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> can I like, can I, like, try to it into a hug? Can I, wanna, yeah, can I give it a hug instead? Can I try to ground it by giving it a hug? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, roll me, it. roll okay. me an athletics <laughs> check. I'm gonna do it. Guys, I'm gonna do it. Come on, I was, don't fail. I'm gonna, Please I'm gonna fail. try to restrain it. Fuck. Oh no. Um, you try to <laughs> grab onto it, but it slips out of your yeah. hands as you reach around it. No. 
<laughs> Try so hard. I, I tried my best, but I didn't succeed. I tried so hard and got so far. So far. But in the end, in the end Direwolf didn't want to be my friend. <laughs> Uh, again, I feel but you haven't even used Boragard this 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 <laughs> whole combat. Oh, shit. Um, Boragard. Yeah, so like you, you oh, guys Boragard so you... just watched you try to replace him with a direwolf. <laughs> just see Boragard out in the in the in the in the background, just shed a single tear. Boragard, Ayla went on a whole mission and risked her life to save you. I'll take you. Ayla adopts Boragard. <laughs> okay, uh, it is now the Goblin Wolf Rider's turn. There's only one Wolf Rider now, and there's also a wolf. Uh, the normal wolf is going to make a single attack at um, Muriel, which is a miss. So the wolf sees its friend getting knocked onto the floor and gets really aggravated and goes over to Muriel and tries to attack Muriel, but Muriel dodges out of the way. And the second Goblin Wolf Rider is going to make two attacks, one with a scimitar and one with a bite against Fred. Actually, no, that's not true. Okay. It's going to make a okay. single scimitar attack, which does not hit, because uh, the wolf, seemingly with a mind of its own, starts also running away. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's fallen mommy. Mm-hmm. Why does a normal wolf have more movement than a dire wolf does? It's bigger. I don't that know. Is oh wait, no, a dire wolf is fifty foot. Where did I see thirty feet from? No, no, yeah. no wait, the, no, keep it there. The goblin? <laughs> Shit. I think I had the goblin thing open. Yeah, I think I had the goblin archer open. Okay. Goblins, the the only small creature with thirty foot movement. Goblin. Uh, Lisbeth, you're up. Lisbeth and Mortimer, you guys are up. Okay, you can go first, DJ, if you want. Uh. I'm guessing all the wolves are leaving? Uh, except for one of them. One of them... Oh, well, as of right now, there are two There are two that are still here, but this one has not had its turn since the thing happened, so... But this one did, and it's still out. here. I'm gonna call out to Fred. What about the goblins? Are we trying to save them? No. Yeah. All right. And I'm gonna cast the celestial boat on this goblin. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll to hit. Thank you, Lisbeth. 23. Okay, roll damage. Two damage! Oh. Two whole damage! It's two nat ones, oh. isn't it? It is, oh my goodness. Oh, oh no. Uh, so you see, uh, as you, you turn around to attack this, it heard your conversation uh, about attacking the goblins, and it tried dodging out of the way, and it just skimmed its shoulder. One of my guys, can't you do the thing you did to the die wolf, Justin? Again? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like look annoyed at Mortimer and then throw Ayla another pink ball. <laughs> okay, roll healing and then roll for. Eight. Yeah. You heal eight Ayla and uh, let's fucking see this. Nope. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, everyone within thirty feet of me feels uneasy, as though something is about to come crashing down. Yep. Uh, what? Which oh, is... Fred's claustrophobic. That's he's gonna make a wisdom save. What? Cool. You're not. <laughs> what would claustrophobia have to do with this? Because he's gonna get freaked out if he fails. You're in an open field. But he feels like something <laughs> is gonna come down on his head. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to make it interesting. I okay, don't know. if you think that you need to make a wisdom save, go ahead and make okay, a wisdom save. Okay, I think he's I mean... gonna save on that. Okay. Uh, oh, oh yeah, Elizabeth's afraid of spiders. Let me make a check. Uh, make a save. <laughs> I'm sure there's a spider in the woods somewhere. Oh my goodness. Well, Ayla did get killed by one. You see, if two wolves stand close enough together, there's eight legs. That's kind of like. Fun. Wait, is Elizabeth actually scared of spiders? No. <laughs> no. Oh. Lisbeth no, ain't, ain't scared of anything. All right, she's she is she is tough. Looks, she is a she strong, is. independent woman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Red is scared of no literature. <laughs> okay, um, Mortimer, you're up. I'm up. Yep. All right. 
Um, I was see, uh, seeing uh, Lisbeth uh, go for this one. Uh, I assume uh, tracking together will be most beneficial. So yeah, I'll be there I... soon. Well, All right, I take my boat. I don't think there's any necessity for anything especially cool, interesting with this. Necessity, um, yes. No, sometimes, you can just, Necessi sometimes you can just shoot things. True. Whoa. Um, what? But anyways, I'm gonna use slate of hand again to you're, hook another you're allowed to do my that? Okay. And I'm just gonna shoot at him. Okay. You're allowed to Roll just ahead. shoot things. Do, 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 do. Uh, occasionally. Do, 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 do. Uh, try try to refrain <laughs> from it though. That was a joke. And I have. Oi! Is that net twenty? Oh, no, no, it's no. not. So ah. close. Roll to hit. It's not a sneak attack though, so. No. But yeah, nine points of damage. It's more than the celestial bolt that <laughs> Lisbeth yeah. sent off. Is the arrow stuck in? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll say with I the 26, the arrow is definitely stuck in. It was not expecting at the okay. same time to have to dodge your arrow, so it's just stuck right into its chest. And the rope is still in my hand. That's the rope is the... still in your hand, yes. Yes, I'm clutching it tight. Okay, good to know. Uh, next up, that brings us to Fred. Uh, Fred, your okay. your direwolf buddy has started to run away, and he is much faster than you are. Um, Fuck. Um, <laughs> can someone give dead. me extra speed? No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, I will... Okay, so Fred is going to start to run after it. He doesn't... <laughs> He's not going to actually go. He's not going to go. He's just going to run because he doesn't realize at first that, okay. that he won't be able to get up to it. So we wait, <laughs> what, wait, you can what? Wait, what were you going to say? I was going to say currently you could actually dash to get up to it. Um, oh, so... but in, in its next turns, it's going to start dashing away. So you will no longer be able to catch up to it. Can I get, can I get to the wolf though? Yeah, you can get past the wolf. I can get past. Oh shit! But I have to use my action to dash. Don't yeah, I? you have to use your shit. action to dash. Fuck. What if? Okay. Does my action can? Does does giving it a hug count as an action? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really determined to do this. Um, <laughs> I think technically speaking, yes, but I will allow it. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I will count it. I will count it as your goring rush. Instead of goring it with your horns, you're going to give it a big old hug instead. Hell yeah! It's the glomp function that I added to my homebrew race. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh shit! Why can't Glump I move rush. anymore? I don't know. I can move you still. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna dash up to oh, it and then I did not mean to do that. To it. Oh, X-Men! Wrong, <laughs> <laughs> Fred. Please, please use expand on Fred. But he's gonna. Okay, he's gonna try to hug it. So, what kind of check do you want me to make? You were my Roll me athletics or acrobatics. Hug this wolf. <laughs> okay, I'll do athletics. Please, Come Lord. Come on, Fred. Okay, uh, you are you are successfully able to hug this <gasps> dire wolf. Yay! Am I restraining it? Um, let's find out. Please don't tell me Fred I just gets guess, taken along with this. Yes, you are restraining it. Oh my god, let's go! It rolled a nat one on its acrobatics check. Oh my or god. Or strength check. Oh god, it's actually has for strength and acrobatic. I did it, y'all. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so that's all Fred can really do. <laughs> okay. He's gonna shush it like a horse. <laughs> Okay, uh, that brings us to Mira, you're up. Oh my god. I thought this is, there's this intense combat music. Like, <laughs> wrestling. Hell yeah. Uh, Mira, is that you there? Um, okay, you're moving. Are you gonna take the opportunity yeah. to attack? Um, I'm going to try and do the same thing that she was attempting to do to okay. Rider 1 by putting the arms behind the back and adding heat to it. Okay, so roll an athletics check. 21. 21. Okay, let's see. 21. Uh, I believe that's... One. I believe you... Intense <laughs> aggressively. Okay, yeah, that succeeds. So you are able to grab both of its arms and tie it behind its back. Oh my god. It's not tied, but you're currently holding on to its arms behind its back. Mm -hmm. Now what? There's no reason to. Need food. We could 
could give you Valid. some food. I, I, I could cook a meal for all of, all of you. Eat more food. <laughs> Valid. I feel that. <laughs> Felt. Same, really. <laughs> yeah. Persuasion 20. Um, that's relatable. Um, she's going to attempt to... Uh, she's going to let one hand of the goblin archer free and put a ration in it. Okay. Roll me a persuasion check. <laughs> great. <laughs> this oh. is gonna be great! <laughs> uh... Eight, of oh course. no! <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, oh no. Uh, is that the end of your turn? I'm assuming. Yes. Okay, that brings <laughs> us to. Uh, there is still a wolf, but this wolf is going to start running away. Um, right. And then there are still two goblin if, archers. If, this goblin archer is if going this to. Party in general had an alignment. That alignment would be chaotic neutral because sometimes we're fucking pacifists and sometimes we kill people for saying books are dumb. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That is true. I mean, this party's also the one where, like, someone literally, like, fell off an island and we were like, oh, yeah, we don't know that guy. <laughs> we're just like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the first um, goblin archer, I, this one I over here. What? But I have to. Uh, can we take a break soon? Uh, uh sure. Yes. That. That's fine. Yeah, we can take a break. There are five people. Wanting we'll take a break at your next turn, so you can just take a break now. But we're going to continue until your next turn. Okay. Right, so, uh, this goblin archer is going to attack with its scimitar against Muriel. Which is a miss. So immediately as you give it its the rations, it plops the rations into its mouth, grabs a scimitar, and tries to attack you and misses. Uh, the other goblin archer over here is going to um, make two attacks against Mortimer because Mortimer did more damage and he's mad at him now. The first one is a 16. Does a 16 hit? Um, 16 does not. Okay. Second one is an 8, which definitely misses. Uh, so it knocks back two arrows, shoots two arrows, and they both go uh, wide as the goblin archer starts to run away. Uh, I'm still uh, It's on a rope. rope. Oh, that's right. It's it's on a rope. Um, roll me a strength check. Oh, fuck. I'm so shit at those. Um, so are the goblin. So is the goblin. Could it, could it be a strength save? Uh, uh, I mean, no, it's more way, of a sa strength same. save for the it's goblin archer. Same for me. Uh, um, okay. Okay. Uh, so you're it, it tries to run away, and you're successfully able to pull it back. <laughs> and in fact, I'm it up, actually uh, falls down. Because <laughs> it, it rolled a Get three. Over here. It rolled a three minus two, so it was a soft one. Oh my so. god! Almost. I'm also gonna roleplay the the misses are from me tugging the rope whenever it tries to shoot me. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so it keeps trying to shoot you, and you keeps um, you keep pulling back on the rope right as he tries to attack you with it, and just goes up into the air. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that brings us to Ayla, and so we're gonna take a break. Uh, right there, we'll call it a right. 10, 15 minute break at most. Okay. okay. Yeah, make the music Very peaceful. Bloody. Stressful so that, dinner time. Stressful dinner. <laughs> uh, thank you for our however, I'm sorry, I don't have the Twitch open, but for however many of our listeners that are here right now, uh, there are currently five people Five, but, but uh, oh, I see oh, six. Three. Actually. I see six, but one of them well, is a bot. So. Well, Fred also uh, just popped on, so that might mean. Oh, yeah, that's me. Oh. Thank you for listening, Fred. Thank no you problem. for listening, Fred. <laughs> so, Fred, I'm doing it out of the goodness of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Fred? Yeah? Bloodluster is you? Blockbuster? What? Bloodluster. B L O O D U S T R. I cannot. I, I actually don't have an account. 
I actually don't um, have an account. Okay, um, then yeah, no, we have six with oh, one bot. Oh, I'll sign up right now. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh. Uh. Ah. Uh. Hmm. What would the physics be of pouring oil down a rope? Uh, it uh, would not get all the way to him. Okay, hang on. So, oh, we've sorry. just been asked a question for all of us, um, in oh, chat, yeah. as to whether we would recommend plastic or metal dice. Uh, I like plastic. Uh, metal's just like... Metal is nice, but expensive and heavy. It looks uh, pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all my dice are plastic. I have a friend who only has metal dice, and it's kind of a hassle sometimes. Because yeah. you like you can't just keep metal dice in like a bag like you can plastic dice because it's gonna scratch each. It's gonna yeah. Scratch. You need the tin. Yeah. It's, um. It's also I like um, control, I cannot vouch for which one is better. I I only have uh plastic dice, but my uh a friend of mine has metal dice and uh they're really nice, but she also has like a special case that she has to carry them around yeah. in. So, so it's I like. I f I'm of the opinion that um, metal dice are good if you have enough, like, plastic dice to supplement them with, and you can use, like, metal dice as, like, a, I don't know, some sort of, like, special fun flavor thing, but you also have, like, plastic dice for most of the rolls, because if you just yeah. have metal dice, then it's a bit like, oh, shit, I'm like... Yeah, no, 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 I agree, I agree. I do think they look very beautiful. I've got some yeah, cool ones. Yeah, no. Metal dice are definitely yeah. really good looking. They just are a hassle to deal with. So, personally, I recommend plastic, because plastic is cheaper as well. Um, yeah, but sounds nicer too when you roll it, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah it, of, makes, like, it makes the click a, quack sound. a wrench on the table. It makes a click clack sound. Click clack. Um, click clack. Yes, everyone likes the click clack. Fun and flirty, thank I, you for the follow. That's, hey, that's me. Thank you. That's, that's you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you, Fred. <laughs> Yeah, no, no problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. For more of a show set metal, Thanks. but for more game, oh. plastic would be smarter. I agree. Yeah, like um, yeah. um, yeah. I think so. I think I think really if quick. metal dice are higher maintenance, then you should go plastic dice because um, yeah, they're easier and they still look cool. Okay, unpopular opinion. I kind of like plastic dice better than metal, but. I don't know if that's. Don't get me wrong. Plastic dice, pla plastic dice look cool. Just metal dice look cooler. Fair. You can do some cool things with plastic die though. Like you can uh, epoxy and do crazy things on the inside. You can't do that with metal. Dude, I love like the gradient ones. Yep. They just like. Oh, they're so cool. Okay, I'm. I will. I gotta go. Uh, I'll, I'll right. be back. It doesn't mean you can't use metal die as a normal die. It's like I know Matt yeah, Mercer. Yeah. Matt Mercer uses metal die for everything. Yeah, no, no. Like obviously, yeah, I, use whatever I, I, again, you like best. But another downside of metal dice is just how expensive it is. And like Matt Mercer can afford to have as mm -hmm. many metal dice as he wants. Mm -hmm. His um, DM die, which actually got stolen from him, so he doesn't have it anymore. But. He had one specific one that it was uh, gold plated, and I think it cost him like four hundred dollars for a single die. I got stolen from Jesus him. Jesus Christ! Whoa. That is a lot of money. Yeah, somebody broke into his car and stole it from his car. Mm. Rip. That sucks. You shouldn't keep expensive dice like that in your car, though. So. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the guy, but he's made stupid decisions before, so I'm not super surprised that he messed up on that, but still. Like, hell, the guy was my was the inspiration behind Nick Snidus. Or at least some, a lot of experience or inspiration behind Nick Snidus. Not the entire thing, but... See, it's actually a little bit weird to me that everybody in the D&D community knows Matt Mercer as a DM. Because I do not know Matt Mercer as a DM. What do you know, man? I, I know I him as McCree from Overwatch. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I that's yeah. where I originally learned about him from. I didn't even know about D D when I first started playing. Overwatch. Like I loved Matt Mercer far before I learned anything about uh, Critical Role. Because he's um, just an honestly, awesome person. I know, I know him. From, from, um, oh yeah. Okay. I know him from like uh, voice acting, video games, stuff like that. Yeah, that's what McCree from Overwatch is. He's a character yeah. from the Overwatch game, which is a video game, which Matt Mercer has voiced. Fuck off. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I knew him as, uh, well, I knew him from, like, before, I didn't know who, for Krom in Fire Emblem. He I recognized his Krom voice in instantly. Yeah. Yeah. I recognized his voice instantly when I first heard him on Critical. I'm like, this sounds really familiar. And just a couple of days ago, I was playing Fire Emblem Awakening again. And I'm like, oh, shit. Now I can't unhear it. <laughs> he, he's been in a lot of things. Yeah. That most voice actors have. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I seriously doubt we'll go on that long, but I have to be inside by 2 o'clock. Like, what time is it now for you? It's like 9. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Like, I, I'm, we're not going until 2. <laughs> yeah. I know, that's why I said it. Um, I'm not allowed out. <laughs> we'll be ending. We'll be ending within two hours. Aww. I, I may not even get to play it all today. We I mean, probably will. Also, I apologize. I'm eating crackers. That's fine. We're on break. We just like to vibe while on break. Also. I am very annoyed. Two weeks of progress just went down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> Doing Rip. a digital drawing of uh, Lisbeth, and it's gone. What? That sucks. What? I had like the hat, body, and like a uh, chaos bolt and everything. I was <laughs> like almost. To the stages of coloring, and apparently, I don't not ex even sure what happened. My phone said I could not open it though, and it basically just deleted it. Aww, it, you didn't <laughs> even have to do that, my dude. I kind of feel like uh, I've got a I've got a friend who does commissions. I kind of feel like getting everyone's characters commissioned. Not Ayla. Ayla's not part of the party. Ayla is Don't part of the party, Ayla. actually. Don't commission Ayla. I would get a. I would get a fucking all of the characters commissioned. I'm but paying I, like a hundred dollars to get every D and D character I've ever made. Uh, the ones I've played, anyways. Oh, okay. Then uh, if you're doing that, then I wouldn't. I wouldn't get Ayla commissioned. Then if you're already getting Ayla commissioned. Obviously, I'd do your only first because I'm selfish like that, but. <laughs> I think that'd be fine though, because he is your character. For, yeah, for yeah. a first time, what class or race would you recommend? I would not recommend uh, Wizard as a first class. Any other class is probably fine. Not wizard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, any, any other class is fine, just don't do Wizard. Um, if you want something really simple, go with Human Fighter, but it's, it's very basic. So, I, elf and human are two very easy races to understand. So, if you want like a easy race to play to begin with, human or fighter, or human or elf, sorry. Um, but if you do choose human, go with the basic human. And if you choose elf, do not do drow, because um, drow is complicated, somewhat. Um, um, I've, heard, I've heard from many people that monk is easiest. Um, my first class was a bard, and I had, like, immense fun playing that, so I'd recommend starting off with that. That was super fun. Um, my first class and race was a dragonborn, a bronze dragonborn wizard. It was fun. my f My first ever character was a uh, high elf wizard, but I played that for, like, two sessions and then changed to a human warlock. Uh, I personally really like warlock, because it, like, it you get a bit of the spellcaster, but, like, not a lot. Not a little but, essay. 
Yeah, not like a whole fucking essay like Wizard. <laughs> but I've, 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 I personally have experience playing every single class in the game because I DM, so a lot of the NPCs I actually give classes to. Uh, I li I enjoy all of them, but the ones I the ones I don't recommend for beginners are wizard and paladin. Cause paladin, why not paladin? Paladin's paladin pretty is, simple. Paladin <laughs> is yes, but it's also like, in my opinion, the second most complicated class. That's the that's paladin. that's the, that's very contradictory. What you just said. It yeah, is. It, yeah, it's very simple, but it's also, in my opinion, the second most complicated. <laughs> It is because every, unless you have like to read the Bible. unless unless you make it complicated, every class is fairly simple, except wizard. <laughs> except I wizard. Would, okay, how? Is I would argue that artif artificer is the second most complicated class. And that's Artif I would, I'm not, I'm I would, not, I would argue that artificer, artificer is the most complicated class. That's I'm honestly not, probably I'm true. I'm not including Artificer, though, because Artificer is not in the player's handbook, which I believe is the only source book that uh, Hawk's getting. Uh, me and Hawk were talking earlier about that. Ayla, your camera's on. What What? What do you think is complicated about Paladin? It's kind of a... Um, I think it's just sort of the spellcaster fighter combination. Then what about Ranger? Oh, good point. I wasn't even thinking of Ranger. So you just have I to feel pick like which edition of Ranger. Ranger having spells, you're more focused on your fighting as a, when you're first. Level. Yeah, Ranger's like, spells are not. Okay. Yeah, Ranger's spells are not, not super. Great. Yeah. I mean, the spells are just fight meta. Neither are Paladins. Paladin. Most of Paladin spells are smites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think. Um. Uh, I, I would I even think... go so far as to argue that like Paladins are good if you want to start simple. And like dabble in spell casting a bit because they're still easy, but you know it's like you're touching spells now. Kind of. uh, I I would say uh, other than artificer and wizard, which I would agree are the two most complicated. Uh, I would think the one that would be most easy to get overwhelmed by is warlock, Guys, just because there's so Guys, many there's options. There are tons of yeah. options. True. With warlock. True. Guys, there's a spider. 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 <laughs> kind of so fun, adorable. If you want to go full caster, but keep it simple, sorcerer is by far the best way to go. Sorcerer is really uh, simple, yeah, yeah. really simple, and a lot of fun to play. Yeah, yeah you get to uh, spells. Sorcerers do have the most nerdy uh, two words put together in the entirety of D and D: sorcery. Sorcery points. points. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where did that joke come from again? I. I don't know. I've said it a lot. Was it a crap guide to D and D? I don't think. Yeah, so. it was a crap guide to D and D. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I thought I heard that before. Uh, yeah. That's and um, I mean, despite all this, if you're Someone really, really hammering on wanting to play your wizard, go for it. But would you? Would you say? Uh, Someone. Oh, I, I, I hear you. But. Oh, sorry. I'm confused. Someone what through their mic? Someone is uh, listening to the stream and it's coming through their mic. Oh, not anymore. Yeah, um, okay. anymore. Oh. Uh, well, as um, soon as Ayla gets back, we'll start back up again. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm done eating my snack. 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 Did you say cactus? Nope, because I, I did heard not. Cactus. I, was I didn't so... even come close to saying I'm... cactus. I thought you said I'm eating cactus. No, that's nope. that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that, I don't know why I can't hear shit, but that's been a problem these past two weeks. I, it I has. Don't know. And another thing that's been a problem is uh Oh, I don't know, maybe you not showing up to Nick's night is okay. without saying anything. What <laughs> dude, I, I told you I don't have time to do it anymore. You never said that to me. I did. I sent you a message. Oh. I swear I was... you didn't say anything about that. I'm sorry. That's what I meant by that. Um, we, I, I mean, okay. I, 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 will, talk about... I, will, I will. No, it's fine. If you don't have time for it, you don't have time for it. I'll look through our DMs, but I don't remember you saying anything. Mm -hmm. Maybe you misunderstood what I said. Um, and and or maybe I didn't come across as clear. It's clear. Um, Cross a little echoey. 
Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. that might be my mic, yeah. But the mic I... was so good this session. What happened to it? Okay. Killed your boy. Ayla is yeah, back. No, I'm going to change Fred, the music I'm over. Switch back to another Hang mic. on. Okay. Fred, yeah. Fred, the last thing you said on was on September 14th. You just said hello. And before that, you were just talking about not being able to make it to the session on September 12th. No, I meant all the sessions, I think. But I'll, here, I'll go back. Hold on. I'll, let's let's talk about it later or on DMs or after this session. Yeah, that. no, that's, that's Fred, fine. Okay. We'll talk, we'll talk about it later. Quitting. Okay. Ayla, you're up. Oh. Um, quick refresher. Who all is living? Who all is living? Everybody. We're all living. The die wolf is now living too. Uh, the thing, the things that have X's are not living. Yeah. <laughs> wolf number two and the horse are dead. Everything else yeah. is alive. There's also a goblin that's Mind dead, it. but it's a part of the goblin wolf rider, so it doesn't really count. This one, this one was recently dead. Yeah, the dire wolf was dead, but then Fred five dead. Okay. So. Build it from having a hole that went through its body. Ayla's going to use movement to get close to Muriel. Okay. As close um, as possible. Let me find out exactly how close you can get. You can get right up next to her. All right. Anything else? I'm going to... I can't hear Ayla. It was not talking. Oh, okay. I can, I can hear. Oh, she is talking? Yeah, she is talking. Okay. Uh, I can't hear. Oh, okay. wait. Yeah, um, I can hear. She just wasn't talking. Sorry. No, I can hear you. Casting sleep on the goblin. Um where are you so remember it's a 20 foot radius so you if you okay. want to cast it on the the goblin and not on muriel you need to cast it 20 feet away from the goblin exactly is that where you're trying to put it yes i'm only doing it at first level however okay so roll me the 5d8 yeah Ooh. So you see as this goblin um, starts to doze off and starts to pass out, but then suddenly its eyes wake up and he shakes off of it. You were one health point away from being able to put it to sleep. I'm so sorry. All right. All right. Okay. Anything else? So, still a bonus action, right? Yeah, you still have a bonus action. I'm <laughs> I would like to ready an action. You can only ready an action with an action. Yeah. Alright. Hence why it's called readying an action. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything else right now. Okay. This brings us to the dire wolf's turn, who is currently oh, no. restrained. <gasps> I have to think of what this dire wolf is going to do right now. It definitely does not understand that you're hugging it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to see if it's going to try to attack you or if it's going to try and flee. Let's find out. It's going to try and flee. So, um... Fred, please roll me an athletics check. Oh, it's contest. Okay. Yep. Um. Did it show up on the thing? No. I rolled. Oh. I rolled a nine. Oh. Okay. Oh, yep, it did. Um, yeah, that's so, a natural one. 
Uh, as you're hugging it, um, the dark wolf um, swivels its body, moves its body as much as it can to try and break your hug, and uh, it breaks free, and it is going to continue to run 50 feet this way. <laughs> oh, no. You're just confusing the wolf. <laughs> Um, I can't cast. I can't get there to cast Beast Bond on it. <laughs> uh, so next up is the Goblin Wolf Rider's turn. Um, the one next to Fred is going to run up forty feet, but he's going to make a scimitar attack against Fred as it flees. Okay. Which That's does not hit. Nice of it. it does not hit. <laughs> so you see, uh, as this. Goblin on top of this wolf swings at you with its scimitar, but it it doesn't quite understand what the wolf is doing, so it doesn't really have a full grasp on its scimitar and misses you. Is it still running away? It is still running away, yes. He, he's going to wave goodbye at the... Uh, you can take an opportunity attack if you'd like to. Um, I'll do it at the goblin, sure. Okay. Um, He's going to... Mm, Let's see, what weapon should I hit it with? You had a mace in your hand, but you were also recently hugging Oh, I do have a mace in my hand, but hes I think he's going to use uh, a javelin for that. Okay. Roll to hit. 23. Uh, nat 20. Um, okay. Shit. Roll damage. When I don't need it. <laughs> okay. Uh, is the is the uh, goblin damaged? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna add Colossus Slayer damage. So oh, that's so much damage! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Fred, but you've accidentally done something that you did not want to do. Um. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh shit. No, everybody else is gonna be fine. You're not gonna like this. Um, oh, okay, so cool. you you chuck your javelin at this as right as it's l leaving your area, and it pierces through the goblin's skull, and then pierces right through the um, wolf skull as well. Um, oh no! And now there's just a, a javelin with a goblin skull and a wolf skull <laughs> just uh, notched into the f into the ground, and they're both you dead. Made a shish kebab. Yay! Yeah, oh, I you've made. The well, I, I fucked myself over. That's you right. killed the wolf and the goblin, <laughs> is what you did. It's a big L. Um, okay. <laughs> Fred, <laughs> Fred's gonna turn around. <laughs> and he's not in shouting distance of the wagon, but he's just gonna yell, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> just clarify his intentions. Okay. okay. Uh, and then this wolf here is going to just run away. You want to kill that one too, Fred? Yeah, yeah. sure. I'll sh I shoot it with that. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it took a dash dash action. Action. So. Okay. That brings us to um, Lisbeth and Mortimer. All right. Uh, okay. Lisbeth's you... actually gonna step up and do it first. Oh, uh, like force uh, it? Yeah. No. Offended by y your words the last time her celestial boat didn't do much. I'm gonna cast can chaos I... boat on this goblin. <laughs> can I say something? Uh, as, uh, can I say I something as you, as you? <laughs> I I just say to Elizabeth, seeing you cast it, like, wait, no, leave this. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Twelve. Uh, you still have bless. Oh no, no I do not. Oh no, you don't. You didn't cast on yourself. Yes. <laughs> so uh... your chaos boat. Um. <laughs> Uh, the uh, goblin. I get to roll my thing though. Uh, you do, uh, yes. Oh yeah, you do. Roll that before I say what happens. Do I oh, add no. add to the thing? Uh, you, no, I you you add to it after. All right. Fourteen is no. not good either. All right. oh, now, so sad. Now I was excited. I, now I need to roll for the surge because it's the second level spell, right? Yes. Oh god, you're right next to me. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Uh, that surges, I think. If yeah. It increases, yeah. Yeah, it increases because. Uh, yep. So I just have a. I'm so angry at you. I have ma magic surged. After missing this goblin, I have rolled a 43. What does that do? Uh, 
I don't have access to the full list. Uh, I am yeah. pulling it up. I forget what it was. <laughs> oh god, I, I don't Do you not have access to the full Jason's list. Voice. Yeah, you you didn't put it in the thing. Ooh, that's fun. Uh, for the next minute, oh, you can tell you can teleport up to twenty feet as a bonus action on each of your turns. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> Great. Great. Now that we're out now that we're out of combat, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna uh, fucking bonus action teleport on top of the goblin and start like pinning it to the ground. Uh, no action, so like nothing mechanical. Is, is happening You've to just this, knocked it over I, as you fall on it. Yeah, I've, I'm basically on it trying to claw its eyes out because I am angry. <laughs> oh <my God>. yeah. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Uh, that is my turn. Okay, so as a paladin, I'm a fir level 2 paladin. It's first level caster, right? Uh, yeah. I can't cast spells at second level, right? No, 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 no. no, no. Okay, God. <laughs> All right. Um, pull. Okay, I will Thanks. first hop off of the um, of the uh, what's it called wagon? Yep. Caravan. Pull him toward the rope, and I'm like, I'm like, don't hurt him yet. And that I pull it tight, and I'm going to use command word on the uh, on the goblin, and just say yield. Okay. What does it need to roll for that? Wisdom. Um, I. This is my first time using command. Let me double check. It's um. Do, 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 do. Is this the first it? spell? More yeah, with thirteen. With the yes. <laughs> like just um, with. So yeah, it failed. So what did you tell it to do, Neil? Um, yield. Oh, so yield. So I just like stop fighting. Okay. Stop resisting. Um. And pulling it. Uh, Weird, weirdly enough, of... even even with Lisbeth uh, clawing at its eyes on it, um, you see this goblin just like <laughs> freeze up and stop fighting against anything that's happening. Just stand still. <laughs> okay. All uh, right. Keep, her, and... keep in mind, Mort Mortimer, that uh, command only lasts for one turn. It's shown. I see. Okay. Um, as a bonus action, I'm going to say to to I'm gonna. Say, Lisbeth, quit it, please, and try to, like, just not shove her off. I'm just going to try to, like, firmly try to pull her off of the goblin to stop putting its eyes out. Okay. What? Are you contesting this, Lisbeth? Uh, yeah. God okay. <laughs> so I need uh, acrobatics, not, or, I mean, athletics from Mortimer, and then acrobatics or athletics from Lisbeth. Why got to be the other way around? <laughs> Natural 20. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> so, you, Mortimer, you, you reach out to go grab Lisbeth, and Lisbeth just kicks you right in the face, knocking you over. Oh my god. <laughs> just goes like, just goes like, just, just, listen! We, we need to find out when. Uh, is this how it's supposed to. Mortimer's just like, what the fuck? Still trying to, like, hold it tight. And uh, although I failed, I'm gonna try my best to try and just avoid Lisbeth from seriously hurting it. <laughs> like, I'll try and contest any okay. attacks she does. Okay, um, Fred, you're up. Okay. Um, uh, well, shit, I killed the wolf. Fuck. Um, okay. <laughs> um, Fred's gonna, I guess, he's gonna start making his way back over. But he's gonna walk towards Muriel and the goblin who that's still attacking her. Why the fuck can't I move this? I don't know. Okay. I mean, you should be able to. I have it set to you. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. Where do you want to go? I was not paying attention. Uh, just like here. Wait, okay. So 5, 10. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, yeah. That way is good. And then, can he walk any farther? Okay, he's gonna he's gonna cast Hunter's Mark on the the go the Goblin Archer. This one. Yes. Okay. He casts Hunter's Mark on it. You still have an action. Okay. And he's gonna shoot it with okay. his longbow. Roll to hit. Okay, hold on a minute. Fuck! 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 Uh, sorry. I don't mean to be swearing so much. 
Why can't I? There are okay. children on stream, Fred. Gosh. Yeah. Jeez. There, there are children. Th yet. There could be. I feel kind of okay. bad. But also, there's an Australian who is. Okay. See, yeah, you're, that's the party. That's true. That's you're, be, you're being culturally sensitive. Oh, I really appreciate what? it. Swearing is just oh. part of. Of yeah, course. Of thing. See, okay, you're raising your opinion end? with me. Um, oh. What just happened? <laughs> why is that? Why oh, is that? That's, green wait, is that wait, I, don't know. I think, think that adds. Huh? I think that's adding the twelve damage onto the on, the hunter's mark. The longbow is. Wait, that's so confusing. I rolled a two. Yeah. yeah no. I, so you, so plus six. Plus six but why? Why is, why is it, it green as though it's a nat twenty? It's showing you like know. it's a nat twenty, but no you rolled idea. an eight. I don't uh, know. Rolled a six if plus he, two. If you rolled a d four no with that, would it? Potentially change the outcome? Uh, no, it would not. Damn. Okay. Bless has been useless this entire fucking combat. Ayla, uh, give me bardic inspiration. Okay, uh, anything else, Fred? So your uh, arrow, you knock back the arrow and uh, launch it out and goes over both of their heads. Okay. Fred is going to tell um, Muriel to. Step aside. Okay. Get out of the way. <laughs> Speaking of, Muriel, That's you're up. Turn. Okay, um, Muriel's going to step to the side hearing this, um, and then is going to attempt to shove the goblin into the ground. Okay, make me an athletics check. 14. I believe that succeeds, but give me one second to find out. Yes. So you're uh, successfully able to push this guy onto the floor. He is now prone, but he's not constrained or anything like that. He's just prone now. And then she's going to tie his um, wrist together with her rope. Oh, that's right. I forgot that you had him restrained already. Um, okay. I'll say you're able to do that. So he is now restrained as well. <laughs> nice. He is restrained and prone. And has Hunter's Mark on it. Just like all the things. Okay. Whose turn is it now? It's currently Muriel. Would you like to do anything else, Muriel? Um, let's see. How much movement do I have? There's not really much I can do right now. Um, she's just going. She's just going to drag the goblin uh, archer over to uh, just like a, right here, between. Um, yeah. Okay. And that's your turn. Yep. Okay. That brings us to the only wolf that is remaining. Um. Mm -hmm. He's going to run up and use an action to dash. And runs up. Um, which brings us to Goblin Archer, one of which is restrained, so they can't do anything. And the other one has been told to yield, so they are also not going to do anything. <laughs> so the end of the Goblin Archer's turn. Uh, that brings us to Ayla. Okay. Ayla would like to approach the Goblin. Okay. That is restrained. You're already there. Yes. You approach the goblin. All right. <laughs> Mission success. <laughs> you level up. Uh, <laughs> Ayla's going to pull out her short sword. Okay. <laughs> and stab it. And dagger. Uh, and make... Uh, attack. You're making two attacks at it? Yes. Okay, roll to hit. <laughs> advantage or anything? Uh, uh yes, an advantage. Hit, but okay. <laughs> Is it stackable? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. Short sword first. Maybe if this ever loads. Hold on. This is when I miss both. <laughs> Bum, 
An advantage? Yeah. Plus four. Plus a d4. It doesn't matter. 15 hits. I was just checking for a crit. Um, okay. So 15 hits roll damage. As you mercilessly just slice into this dude's chest. Good. Short sword. Uh, 1d6, right? I believe so, yes. Right. Yes, 1d6 <laughs> plus 3, so 6 points of slashing damage. Alright. And then roll for your dagger. Uh, roll 1d4. Oh wait, it's at advantage first. Roll the advantage. Okay, um, so that also hits. As you stab into its chest with the dagger, please roll 1d4 plus 0 because it's the... It's two okay. up fighting. <laughs> One point of damage. Oh, no, he making himself. And the, the goblin just looks up to you. Why? <laughs> Do you say anything? It asks you why. <laughs> Ayla's she just lost like that. Grin. <laughs> okay, apparently Ayla is evil. Okay, moving oh, on. Yeah. Nice, we love that. I mean, Ayla, Ayla takes five d eight fire uh, uh, psychic damage. No, uh, that was not. I, mean, I will say that it was not chaotic. creating. It was not creating okay. chaos. It might have been chaotic, <laughs> but it was not creating chaos. Uh, okay, I was actually testing. Evil. I was testing a border right there. That's the entire point. I am so sorry for the goblin. <laughs> I was testing to see if Ayla would die. <laughs> Wait, okay. so is the goblin still alive, or did Ayla knock it out? Uh, Ayla barely did oh, no. any damage to it. It's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I barely uh, carved into it. Like, it's definitely hurting. It's probably bleeding, but it's it's alive. It doesn't even look that damaged. Okay, so the dire wolf and the only remaining uh, goblin wolf, uh, which is not even a goblin wolf rider anymore, it's just the wolf, so they run away. Um, there's still a wolf in this field, but... Uh, that brings us to Lisbeth and Mortimer. Lisbeth is still clawing and kicking can, this goblin. We, and I'm, um, I'm muttering like, "Fucking can we contest our fucking initiative?" Lannis, uh, yeah, both of, both of you roll me initiative. Academy. Yeah. Okay. Look. <laughs> Ten. Yes. Okay, so Mortimer goes first. Okay. So I'm attempting to properly pry Lisbeth off of the uh, goblin and trying to position myself over the top of them to make it harder to get to. How many times okay. I gotta teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> natural 20. Oh my goodness, and not for natural 20. <laughs> Lisbeth is furious. What the fuck? You're ripped! <laughs> You're three foot You're three foot nine! Uh. Oh my god. I don't even think you have to roll because even your nat 20 doesn't succeed, so I believe. Oh no, no you're I can't. I literally yeah, can't no. I can't beat that. If it was I the other way that. if it was the other way around you could beat it, but no. Okay, um seeing was it oh so God. furiously trying to claw I'm like, okay, desperate matches as with the other end of the rope, I'm going to use slate uh my quick hands to try and slate of hand Lisbeth. And restrain her arms. <laughs> <laughs> the other end of the rope. Okay, Lisbeth, roll me acrobatics. Oh, I have to roll. You're okay. such a chaotic group. Oh Fourteen. my god. Okay, um. I'm trying to think of what Mortimer needs to roll here. Slide of hand? No. Um. I'll I'm say slide of hand, but at, dis my... at disadvantage because it's against a moving target who just succeeded at kicking okay, you hey, in the face. That's, fa that's fair. Ooh. Oh, you have plus Eat. 10 sleight of hand. Holy crap. That's why I was begging for it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so yes, uh, Lisbeth, suddenly you feel both of your arms behind your back just get suddenly tied with rope. Okay. Or probably well, not behind uh, your back because you're clawing at its, at its eyes. So in front of you, your hands are now tied. Well, the thing is, uh, I... 
<laughs> no, what is this uh... not gonna do? Oh, is that the end of your turn, uh, uh, Mortimer? Um, yeah, I'm basically like, with like one end of the rope that's attached to Lisbeth, I'm holding her arms up in the air, and with the other rope that's tied to the goblin on the ground, I'm like just pulling it tight so the goblin can't move either. Yep. And I'm just know, like, Lisbeth, please, we can wait. I know exactly I, what Lisbeth's about to do. Oh, yeah, God. I don't think I need my hands to be untied to cast another celestial boat. boat. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> is that's it, not wait, what is I was it, thinking it, you were gonna do. Is it? Is it semantic? I'm mean, not semantic. Yeah, semantic. Uh, like, uh, it is ver verbal and somatic. Uh, semantic DM is call if I could do that. Maybe disadvantage. Um, I'm gonna say in your current in your current condition you can't. Um, okay. but there's a very Fair easy enough. thing that you can do. Just FYI, to get out of this. Uh, I'm oh looking through everything I've got. <laughs> Maybe you could un Oh, uh, actually, I'm not going to say that. Sorry. <laughs> Please don't give him suggestions. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to tell you anything. So if you don't think of it, you're not. I'm not going to tell you it. But it's very Will easy. Will you tell what it was afterwards? Though? I'll tell it as soon as his turn is over. I'll tell him what it was. I. Huh? What do I have that I can do? I'm going through all my actions. I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. Do you want a hint? Nope. I'll give you a hint. Sure, I'll take a hint. It is not on your character sheet. Anywhere. <laughs> what? I, I can so. do things not on my character sheet? Yes, you uh, can. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, I'm I'm at a loss here. Okay. What do you, I what didn't do you even want to do? Really want, the if only it's more reason interesting... I if it's more interesting, I'm okay, I'm okay with you telling. <laughs> okay, I will roll a d20 if it's um, yeah, over. Can I make like an intelligence check? Sure, make an intelligence check. Bro, this is gonna be so funny. <laughs> 23. Um, Shit. You can teleport for free right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I was thinking he could just yeah, untie uh, himself. He could just try to get out. Yeah, like... I'm gonna fucking bonus action teleport like uh, up here. Okay. Uh, oh, and no. then just aim down in Celestial Boat, the fucking uh, goblin. Okay. okay. Go I'm, ahead and roll it. I'm hit. using my reaction at disadvantage. I'm uh, using my fuck. reaction for the protection Ten. thing. It didn't matter yeah. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this rolling so well on everything other than attack rolls. Well, I get to. Uh, let's see if I fucking roll a natural 20 with this. Oh, true, yeah. No. No, uh, but it's the opposite, though. It's the... You surge. Do I? Again? Uh, yeah, you surge. It, oh, oh, does my save counter <laughs> not, uh, not reset after a surge? Uh, oh, does it? Oh, I forgot. I mean, with why... I mean, it's up to you, I guess. I, ha no, I, I wrote it in the no. thing. I just don't remember what I wrote. The more wild magic, uh, yes. the better. Um, your wild magic threshold resets to one after a short or long rest, or a wild magic surge, uh, or auto succeed. Yeah. So. So yeah. Never mind. I'm up to I'm up to two, but I have missed, and I am cursing out every single name that comes to mind. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that is my turn. Name? Yeah, Arvin, Alanis, uh, Herthia, <laughs> Mortimer. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that brings us to Fred. Fred, you're up. Okay. In front of you, Muriel currently has the goblin that you have your hunter's mark on, uh, restrained and yeah. prone onto the floor. And Ayla just I, tried I saw to the kill it. I, uh, I saw the goblin hurting Muriel, right? Uh, I think so, yes. It, it, well, if it's not, then I'm going to do something different. Muriel, did the goblin try to hurt you? No, he has not. Um, he attempted to after Muriel gave the goblin food, <laughs> which was a jerk. Oh, he attempted to. Yeah, he attempted, attempted to. to. Okay. But didn't okay. actually attack. Oh, bet, bet. Okay. So Fred is going to goring rush this guy. Um, <laughs> yes. Roll yeah. advantage because it's, it's a melee attack. 
I just want to make sure you that? know that they are prone and tied up right now. I know. This is amazing. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> Dude, oh I feel so bad. He was, he was hurting the cook and my friend. So, <laughs> for the cook um, and your friend. It's a D20, D20 plus six. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, bet. Oh, so it's just the same as horns, right? Oh, wait, it's plus six? Oh, I, I thought it was plus eight. My horns are plus eight. Half the party are uh, like, yeah, no, you're we raging. need to keep yeah. them for custom. No, he's not. No, oh, no, not. not anymore. Your horns are plus six. I'm looking at your thing right now. Oh, you leveled up to five. That's right. Yeah. Half of the party is like, we need to keep these goblins alive, and the other half are, fucking kill them! Why does it keep saying that you rolled a nat 20 when you didn't? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, now roll, that's what's roll again, because it, it is an advantage, so if you do roll a nat 20, it's a crit. Oh, bet. Okay. Oh my god, if you I forgot that I got a thing. No. Uh, dang. Uh, it's a 16, 8 plus okay. 8. Okay, so you deal 7 points of piercing damage as you just run over this dude. Do you move him with that? Let me look. If he's prone and on the ground? Roll him like a sausage. I think if he was standing, yeah. Well, I mean, like, you would probably pick him up with your horns as you stab him. Mm. No, so I would. I'm gonna pick him up like a forklift, and then just <laughs> yeet him. Ten feet in that direction. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. I love it. Oh my god. No, I meant the other direction, but okay. Oh, that'll be off the map though. <laughs> um, he has to run through trees. That's his punishment. <laughs> okay. Unless he fucking a goblin. Dies. They do that all the time. <laughs> This goblin looks really sad at this point. He's like, what's happening? I'm tied up. You guys are still <laughs> killing me. You hurt my friend. Oh my god. It's food. Oh my god. Wait, is hey. that the goblin who's talking right now? Yes, I just didn't do the goblin okay. voice. That's fine. Okay. Um, Muriel, you're up. The goblin Run. is crying and still tied up and is now 10 feet away from you. Meryl's gonna walk um, up. If I untie you, tell where you came from to not attack us ever again. Do you understand? Roll me a wisdom or insight check, please. Insight. Me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the goblin looks to you, still crying, um, nods its head, yes, but for whatever reason, you genuinely believe that he's not telling the truth, that he's gonna probably run away if you let him free. Um, she's going to let him free anyways. Okay. So you untie him? Yep. Okay. That's a good thing to do. He's still prone, so he doesn't have very much movement in his next turn, but... <laughs> okay, uh, anything else, Muriel? Uh... I think that's it. Okay. Yep. That brings us to the wolf's turn, <laughs> who is just gonna run away. And that brings us to the goblin archer's turn. Uh, this one is going to use half of its movement to stand up. And then the rest of its movement to start running away. Muriel, would you like to make an opportunity attack? <laughs> that, that'd be some shit. No. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that'd be the most sadistic thing. But she just told it to run, so. Okay. Uh, that brings us <laughs> to Ayla, you're up. <laughs> How far away is this uh, About Wait, 40 feet, 50 feet away. Oh yeah, okay. he does. The other goblin does get a turn. I mean, he's no longer controlled by the command spell, so he is going to try and break free from the um, wrists. He's going to try to break off the um, um, arrow, which he does. He snaps the arrow in half, and he's no longer connected with the rope from the arrow. 
uh, and then he's going to start running away. Oh. Um, Mortimer, would you like to make an opportunity attack? Can I make a non-lethal one? Uh, yes, you can. Okay, I'm trying to knock him out with the um, the butt of the butt of my rapier. Okay. So roll a hit. Yeah, uh, how would, would I just roll this with the rapier attack or something different? Uh, with the rapier attack. No, yeah, it'd be okay, rapier. okay. So non-lethal, you still do everything the same. It's just if you if you get them to lethal, they just don't die. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Uh, uh, D four. One. Yeah. Oh yes. D four. Thanks. The one time this is gonna work. Um, run D four. That's a no. Oh, oh yeah. That's exactly uh, what yeah. you needed. A roll damage. Oh, yeah. Uh, not snake attack. So ignore that, but... So nine points of damage. He is still alive. Okay. Is he I, was about, I was about to say, it would fucking figure he that is, the one yes, time he is still awake. actually affects it is when Elizabeth <laughs> doesn't want it to. <laughs> okay, so he's still awake. Yeah, he is still awake. Shit. Okay. Um, Ayla, it's your turn. He is 50 feet away. Cool. He's still close enough for sleep. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, roll the 5d8. Thank you. Thank I you. would like to cast Ayla. it at second level. I really okay, hope roll no the 7d8. This, this day. You got this. I believe in you. I've used both my second level spell slots on this combat. If I had bardic inspiration, <laughs> I would give it to you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> 78 coming up. So when's Fred gonna multi-class in the bard? <laughs> <laughs> With your eight charisma. A ranger bard barbarian. Giving him one level of bard. bard <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have a I have a bugbear barbarian that I was. <gasps> bard barranger. Yeah. Yes! Yeah, I was considering making a bard barbarian. Please that sounds so sick, please. Yes, uh, so bard the bard goblin bard. does fall asleep. <laughs> As this happens, Ayla's just gonna pump a fist into the air. Yes! Finally! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Fred's gonna oh, give her a thumbs up. Yes, lady. <laughs> Anything About else, time. Ayla? That took way too long. <laughs> and that's... All, um, actually, is the other goblin still running, right? Uh, yes. Oh, I didn't move its full movement, by the way. Ayla's gonna pull out Longbow and notch it. And that will be what Ayla does. Okay. Can we just appreciate the fact that I just got a 6.9 in Classic? Yeah! I have no idea oh, what nice. that means, wanna, but yay! Do we want to make, a, make yeah, another nice. Uh, nice. An initiative check? Uh, Everyone, put a nice in the chat. Oh, another another contested initiative? Yeah, let's go. Fuck, okay. Fuck! Natural <laughs> one. Oh. Oh, oh, wait, oh! Thank god! You still win. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um... So, uh, picking up the rope again that uh, originally uh, snapped off. Um, I chase after this goblin and using the... Can I make an acrobatics check to use this wall to like run along it and try to jump at it with my rapier just to really try and knock it down and knock sure. it the fuck out? Yes, okay. so I will, I will <laughs> say, roll me an acrobatics check and if you pass the acrobatics check, it will auto crit, but it will be non-lethal. Because you wanted to. Aye. Yes. So that passes. So um, roll a hit. And if it hits, it's an auto crit, but non lethal. No! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> so you look so cool as you're running across this wall and you go to attack it and it notices you at the last minute and just ducks its head. Okay, so it, although I miss and I'm like sailing over it, the rope I still have. I want to grab both ends and try to close hanger it as I'm flying by <laughs> to the ground. Okay. Um, roll me athletics check again. Oh, shit. 
Wouldn't Ooh. they be able to? Would I be able to squeeze advantage because I'm like flying by with momentum? Sure, I'll give you the advantage still. Not still, I'll give you the advantage. <laughs> oh. <Ugh. laughs> so, so you jump down to try and capture with the rope, and he dodges out of the way. Shit. It's a rip. Uh, where do I land, sorry? Um, yeah, you'd land either here or here. Okay, uh, preferably in front of him. But yeah, I'll have you land there. Fuck. You wait. You wanted to land here? No, he wanted oh. to land here. Oh no! I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, fucking general. All right. It wouldn't make I'm sense gonna, for him to go behind because uh, I'm gonna uh, run up to right here and jump as though I'm jumping towards him, and then teleport right here and cast Ooh. the sword at him. Okay. Oh, holy shit! Fake out. Uh, fucking hell yeah! Twenty-four. <laughs> Twenty-four. <laughs> roll it. Thirteen um, damage. Thirteen damage. I'm going to TJ. Oh, that shouldn't be fire damage. I, I, I need to change that. I'll fake hang that. on. I'll fix that. I hate to do this to you, TJ, but I'm gonna use my reaction as a um, protection paladin to make you roll disadvantage on that with my shield. Fucker. I'm so wait, sorry. Wait, do you even have your shield in your hand? You just had two pieces of rope that you were trying to. Oh shit! You're right. With. Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Yep. I'll say that you won't, won't be able to. No. Okay. Uh, Thirteen points of um, radiant damage, not fire damage, um, and yeah. the goblin archer. It's knocked in the back suddenly. It was not expecting this at all, and falls back onto his back, and he's dead. Uh, he's, dead? He's, he's, he's dead. So I want to, I want to no. do another fucking hole through like the chest, and then I'm just gonna walk <laughs> oh, up God. and look at Mortimer and say, "There, I did it." <laughs> and I'm trying to walk back to the to the group. Uh, <laughs> okay. What, what okay. Just... So I have an honest question. This like not chaotic in any sense or form. Yes. What is the human? What is the uh, carriage rider thinking of this? As oh, he's still crying over the death of Pickett. <laughs> yeah, inside the okay. carriage. Okay, I good. Love that, I love like... that anything <laughs> Ayla does now is not to be like chaotic or anything, but how do they feel about it? <laughs> like that, there was nothing. There was no part of that that would have been taken as chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and with that I we mean, are we are out of combat because the final one remaining is the one that's oh asleep. So, <sighs> uh, Mortimer just kind of like throws the rope down, like stacks her shoulders, just like. And Mortimer, just there's one over there. You can interrogate if you want. Uh, um, Mortimer looks over to Ayla and she's just like, uh, "Give me a minute," as Mortimer <laughs> lays down. Not lay down, like kneels down to the goblin here and like kind of puts shut his eyes. Like, it's like, just going. Wait. Wait. What? I, hmm? Elizabeth would have words, but I've already walked away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, just uh, sh shutting the goblin's like dead eyes properly. Okay. Yes. Yes. Treating these goblins that attacked us out of nowhere with respect. Kayla would like to go deserve. over and loot the goblin? They have their needs. Uh, Fred. Fred wants to go over to the wolf corpse. <laughs> I, I have we... my needs to oh. not be attacked. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna make his way over there. To which wolf corpse? The the dire wolf corpse. There is no dire wolf corpse. The dire wolf yeah, got the, away. The dire wolf didn't die. What? So I thought the dire. Oh my god! No. You you <laughs> resurrected <laughs> the dire wolf. You yeah, literally you resurrected the dire wolf. Fuck. Yeah. Well, now I'm angry because I thought I killed the dire wolf, or else I would have gone after well, it. <laughs> I mean, you did the kill wolf. it, but you, you also you hugged it. it. You hugged the dire wolf. Did you intend on killing it with your hug? <laughs> no. No. No, you I, no. 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 Okay. You, here's what you I thought shish, happened. You should have grabbed this wait, one. With the goblin wait. Under, under. I know. I know. But here's what I thought happened. I thought I shot the arrow at the goblin, and somehow the goblin was running right beside the dire wolf. Oh. And I shot both of them. That's what no. I thought happened. So the goblin. I should have questioned that. Yeah. Dang the go it. the goblin Fuck. wolf rider is two beings on top of each other. It's a wolf oh. and a goblin. Yeah. Um, you, you kebab them. And you kebab Shit. them on top of each okay, other. Okay. Well. So that's what that okay. was. Okay, well, I'm going to go over to the normal wolf corpse. <laughs> and okay, again, which one? There are multiple. The there are, there are two. The one that okay, I shot. Okay, the one that you shot. There's one and up I here. I can't fucking move. Oh, I'll move you. I hate... I'm I don't so know why you can't, can't move. 
I don't it's know weird. either. I'm you should sorry. be able to. Do you have the wrong tool open or something like that? Maybe. Which one is it? Select move? Yeah, the first one. Yeah, I have that open, but it's not. It's just not working for me. I, I'm weird. sure if I refresh it, it'll work. But anyway, he's going to kneel in front of the wolf corpse and okay. like say a little prayer out of regret. Okay. Praying just to. Like, Are you introducing your god for the first time ever? You haven't introduced no, your I god to everybody. I talked to my god earlier, did but you? sure. Yeah, I talked oh, to yeah, him you with did. Rory. That's oh, right. but only with Rory, so nobody else There's knows nobody who else he knows, is, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, he's I just... Did, I didn't even know that was a secret. I thought that because <laughs> he had said it to Rory that everyone knew. <laughs> nope. Yeah, me neither. Well, he's he's going to say a little prayer to um his god. Just okay. like out of, just out of forgiveness and, for killing an innocent you. creature. Um or innocent creatures, but he says that the goblin was in the name of his friends, uh, but the wolf was not. Um, so it is his obligation to um, take penance for this act, and he hopes that he can redeem himself and make up for it. Fred's gonna become a paladin. Oh, oh shit, I could, I could fucking group triple of, class. Group of, <laughs> group of paladins. Uh... Okay. <laughs> we can have theological really? debate. Do, do it, it, do it, do it. 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 Do Three people, uh, four people, uh, there. yeah, four people of the party that uh, explicitly follow a god, and yes. they all follow yeah. different gods. Well, two of them follow oh. the same god, sort of. Oh, do we know, know? which well, two? Yeah, uh, Euroni and Muriel. Oh, so yeah, there, there's okay. four and a half oh, people. Yeah. I, was, I, wasn't, and a half people. I wasn't counting. I, mean, I wasn't yeah. counting Muriel and the four I mean, people. I Mortimer's kind of like a polytheist, but she like mains one god, but has like. You know, she mains one god. Which god do she you main? Main? She <laughs> mains one god, but she can just one religion. religion. Yeah, no. Like, <laughs> yeah, no. It, it, it's like Smash Bros, but it's gods. You main yeah, one god, me. but but you main one god, but you know how to play the other gods. Yeah, oh, help, yeah. help, you're help fucking, is my you're main, but I can I can fill disgusting. any role we need. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flex. <laughs> Super uh, God Bros Ultimate. I'm going to oh, walk over yeah. to the, the carriage and b see if I can do anything about fixing the real wheel. Um, you guys got it right into place right as the horse um, made, so you All guys right. are good to go. But now you guys don't have a <laughs> horse. I'm going to pick up the reins and horse. I'm going to pick up the reins and look at Fred and go, hmm. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay. Sorry, Karen. Um, Fred, Fred, sorry. Uh, Fred's gonna, um, he's just gonna, well, does he notice? Uh, he's, he's probably enwrapped in he's prayer right now. He's probably, probably praying, yeah. Talk to yeah, I, ha yeah. I haven't mentioned anything to you, so, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, he's still praying. Uh, Ayla, you um, said that you wanted to loot the goblins? Yes. Uh, you'll be able to find... Even the sleeping one. Yeah, you'll be able to find, uh, four scimitars and four shortbows. That's it. Cool, thank you. Okay, um, Mortimer just like sliding down the cliff face here, looking over to Lisbeth, just goes, we'll talk later, and then walks over to Ayla. Um, up, I, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming after she's, um, probably doing, while she's whatever. just like shoving oh. stuff into her bag. Yeah, well, it's, it's just like, she said, well, she said there was one of them alive. Right? Yeah, that one. I took all of his stuff, though. But he's alive. I think so. I'll go check on him. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna stop making my way to the okay. last out goblin. If, if no one else is talking. Good. Okay, uh, is he unconscious or dead? He is unconscious. He's actually not even unconscious, he's asleep, which I believe is a different condition. I see. Uh, no, our sleep is unconscious. They're Never mind. How long would he be 
uh, sleep. Well, until, well. it, rules is written, it's until somebody wakes him up, believe it or not. Wow. Oh, wow. Um, okay. okay, so I'm not going to wake him up, but I'm just... Wait, so would he sleep forever? Yeah. Rules is written, oh. that's what it would be, but that's not actually what it oh would be. God. You'd wake up eventually. Okay. But rules oh, is written. It doesn't say anything about them waking up in it, so they'd just be internally asleep. Right. Sleeping Beauty, anyone? <laughs> That's a fucked up Mortimer, story. Mortimer, oh, never mind. I lied. It's only a minute. No. It only lasts a minute. Oh. Uh, well, I tie him up while he's still asleep. Okay. Like, like very thoroughly. <laughs> this poor goblin. So much has happened to him. Oh, and can give him noticing food. noticing his wounds, like. I'm, I'm gonna cast Lay of Hands. Okay. Uh, proper going like, oh god. And just... How many points? Uh, all ten. Okay, he still seems a little bit injured, but you seem to have healed the vast majority of his wounds. Okay, and um, could I take a medicine check to try and dress the others? Uh, sure. Okay, I'm not a patrician. No, I'm not. Just trying my best. Okay, 14. Uh, I'll say... Mortimer, just yeah. trying your best. You, you feel like you have you were able to do a little bit of good, but you're not entirely sure how much. You know, at least you didn't okay. hurt, hurt them so more. Alright. Alright, I'll finish tying him up, then lug him onto my shoulder. Okay. And right around then, uh, he wakes up, and he starts flailing and screaming, and starts shouting goblins. Does anybody speak goblin? Nope. Nope. I was considering goblin, but then I thought it more flavorful to take celestial. In all things but language, you are a goblin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's just it's shouting things in goblin, and it's flailing. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's trying to flee from you. It just seems like it's freaked out. Fun, okay, fun uh, fact: my original idea for Elizabeth was that she was raised by goblins. So. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Actual goblin, baby. Um, Mortimer's gonna. Try to just as she's walking back, just going, Don't worry, they're not gonna hurt you anymore. <laughs> like in a half tired, but like genuinely trying to comfort it as well at the same time. Are you wait, are you allowed to lie under your oath? <laughs> <laughs> <It's totally... laughs> oh, no. Not so much as a lie. I know that they kind of have done things to it, but I'm like, no, I have a conviction to try and stop it if it happens. I'm not trying to let it. Yeah, like it. like this one. Yeah, like that one, like that one, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll will just say I'm but I'm coming to the carriage now, all the way down here. But... I'm I'm gonna walk up to Fred. Uh, are you still in prayer? Um, am I still in prayer? Up to you. Are you still in prayer? It's been about a minute. Uh, I think about by now he's probably done. It was pretty quick. Uh, all right. He's just uh, kind of gonna, sitting in front of the body. I'm going to walk up to Fred and say, Hey, uh, I'm going to have like the reins in my hand and just kind of look up at him. He's going to turn around, look at the reins, <laughs> look, look at Lisbeth, <laughs> look back at the reins, look at Lisbeth, and then just sort of slowly take them. <laughs> <laughs> resignedly sighing like just kind of snorts and put the, puts them on like like attaches it to oh wait does he have a harness it puts the harness on his muzzle like like in a sense of like I'll take one for the team wait on your own muzzle yeah Excuse for me. once he understands what, what Liz is trying to do <laughs> oh. when, it comes, when it comes to Animalizing him, he understands. Uh, yeah. Lisbeth doesn't <laughs> see uh, the horse die. <laughs> Lisbeth isn't uh, perceptive or insightful enough to know how demeaning this is, so she's just gonna be like, "All right," and walk back like, <laughs> like nothing happened. <laughs> He's gonna walk oh. over to the horse before walking back to the carriage, and like <laughs> to be like, "I feel Aileb, your pain." After looting the body, Aleph's going to approach Fred. And notice he's all hooked up and everything. Uh, she starts to say something uh, before stopping. Are we gonna do the thing? 
I don't even know what it is. We're doing the thing. <laughs> We're doing the thing. Okay. I kind of... Well, I haven't had a good chance to see you before, but I have something for you. Okay. I'm going to reach into her pocket and pull Should out we... something wait, wait. and just pull Should we her go to one on one? Thread. No, go it's to... all good. <laughs> okay. It's all good. <laughs> okay. He's just gonna cock an eyebrow at her and slowly take it and put it in his pocket. Hold on. A- Ayla is, uh, like, holding her hand out. Closed this so Fred doesn't know what it is. Oh. <laughs> okay. Then he's not going to take it and just stare at her. <laughs> it's a gift for you. It's Give fun. me your hand. Um... He's going to slowly hold out his hand. If it hurts me, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> it's, it's not going to hurt you. I know you like to draw. I can't and, hear Ayla. Well, write things down. <clears throat> sorry, oh, one sorry. second. Oh. Oh. Hello? 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 Is this name better? Um, yep, that's better. Hello. Just in okay. general, we, we, we can hear We can hear you. I think Muriel can't hear anyone. Is what she's saying. Oh, okay. Oh crap. No, I can hear you. You, I can't. Oh. He, the only person I can't hear is Ayla. Oh. Do you, do you have her turned down? No, she's full volume. I can hear her perfectly. I can hear That's her. Okay. Weird. Yeah, I can hear her fine. Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. Ayla's going to open up her hand and drop a piece of white chalk into Fred's. Yeah, <laughs> I just can't hear her. Nice. Oh crap! Um. Well, well, Ayla just yes. gave me a piece of yes. chalk. Okay. Um. I. He. That's very nice. He's. He's just gonna like nod, <laughs> and take it and say thank you. Uh, before you even finish your thank you, Ayla kind of just spins on her heel and walks away. He doesn't really <laughs> oh, know what it's you. for, but he assumes that it's for drawing, so he'll figure it out. I'm going to leave and then try and rejoin and hope that works. All right. Okay. okay. With her back turned, Ayla says calls out back out to Fred. You should try drawing with it sometime soon. Uh, he just shrugs. Okay. I mean... Anyways, let's get going. <laughs> Are you, are you guys a part of a cult? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would be a fool if I didn't use it, and he's going to make his way back to the cart. Yeah, we're going to be in the ch- chalk cult now. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jason knows the only... I'm pretty sure Jason's the only one who knows what Ayla's doing. Oh, well, yeah. Um, I'm the only one that knows what that chalk is. It's magic chalk, isn't it? Jesus. Okay. It probably is. Right, um, if it's even it's chalked, Jason. if it's even chalked to begin with. Oh, oh, God. God. Considering oh, that this God. is D and D, it's probably some kind of magic item. Oh no! It's cocaine. No, it's just, chalk, no, it's just yeah, hardened um, up cocaine. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's cocaine. a long stick of cocaine. Ayla's a <laughs> okay, we're gonna snort it now. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. So, um, I almost just said his name, but the human, after seeing that everybody's been defeated, rushes out and starts crying over his dead horse. <laughs> and then he, he looks out to the he looks out to the bunch of you he looks out to the bunch of you and just okay. yells yells at you all you all did this to pick it if it wasn't for you pick it would be alive i didn't do uh, that i'm just gonna like gesture towards the goblins and say if it wasn't for them pick it would be alive yeah but if if it but if you we it's your were not fault. aware. We, we did not, not aware. do anything. The attack is going to happen. Please, it is not our fault. We are it's sorry not, about. I knew I never should have. I knew I never should have trusted a bunch of orc lovers. It's not our fault, and you're dumb if you think it is. Ayla would like to <laughs> try to approach the man. Uh oh. And give him a hug. Aww. 
<laughs> I just want to point out, he called you orc lovers, but the only person who knows that the place we're going to is uh, full of orcs is Mortimer. Uh, oh, no, he knows. We all know. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, because when he told us the city, when he told us the city, I told them all that you were the only one who didn't know. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, as you go to hug him, he attempts to punch you in the face. All oh, right. Which is an, eight, an which is an eight, eighteen to hit. <laughs> all right. So you take one point, of, one point of damage. <laughs> You and I'm hellish rebuking the motherfucker. You you cast no, hellish rebuke. Like, no, you're man. casting hellish rebuke on him. I don't. I can't remember a time where you've cast hellish rebuke on someone that wasn't like an ally. Okay, a roll roll to hit. Oh lord! Please, no. I believe hellish. <laughs> it's a deck save on his end. Oh, that's right. Uh, that it would be a fifteen. Oh, it, my, he saves! Yes! <laughs> However, out of curiosity, are we by the cart? Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know, the cart looks like it's made of rusted metal, so I don't, I don't think... <laughs> it, it does look like it's made of rusted metal, it's not supposed to. It was the only... I could not find cart images that looked good. Fair. Um, I'm trying to decide if this would deal damage to Ayla or not. Does it does it deal damage to an area, or does it only deal damage to the single target? It only technically does damage to the single target. Yeah, then I would. If I was DM, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it dealt damage to the cart, but it's uh, it does. It doesn't. I'm trying to decide if this is Ayla purposely creating chaos or not. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not. It, it was instinct. He hit her when she was trying to be nice and hugging. So you attempt to kill him. He knows his punch is not going to. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Say I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying it is. I'm saying it is. You're gonna have to take five d six. Oh shit! Oh, oh, wasn't it five d eight? Five d eight. Whatever. It, no, it was five d. Wasn't. I I'm looking it up the. I'm, that. I'm looking up the spell itself. So I'm. I'm I think it was five d ten. Also, or something. keep in mind. Yeah, it's five d ten. Oh, it was. Seventh oh. Level, so like, oh God! Uh, you take four Five points. points. Forty points is like oh. damage. Is that all her health? Uh, <laughs> yeah, she. Hey, look at Tawani. Yeah, she's she's definitely unconscious. Uh, yeah, she's unconscious. Like, she's not dead, but she is unconscious with two death save how, how death does saves. Death saves. Like how does this look like to us? Um, <laughs> she just falls unconscious <laughs> suddenly. I'm gonna I'm like gonna she flinches and falls unconscious <laughs> suddenly. I'm gonna Wait, two raise death saves? two failed death saves. Yes. I'm gonna raise huh? my hand oh, at the uh, That's not what I at the man who uh, who had punched her and say, "Look, whether or not it's our fault, you'd be pretty stupid to attack us." <laughs> oh my god, he's right. <laughs> Fred's gonna not. He's just trying to get her off of me. Ow. That's he's gonna attempt to walk over to the man now and say uh, it but not he's not gonna get that close. He's gonna say, um Okay, before you do that, anything, is anybody going to attempt to heal Ayla yeah. or am oh, I gonna oh have to God. tell her right now yeah, to make it that safe? Walk. Yeah, yeah, do I was, it. I was, okay. gonna, I was gonna walk over there and uh, cast spare the dying on Doesn't it doesn't look like she's badly injured to us or <laughs> No, it doesn't. She just looks like she passed <laughs> out. Like Die, it's within six seconds, so I'm gonna say that even before okay. Lisbeth gets to Ayla, oh my goodness, even before. Okay, I'm sorry, oh, Ayla. Did, uh, did Arvin just kill Ayla? No. Ar no. Arvin killed Ayla. Oh my oh. god. Oh my goodness, you succeeded. <laughs> what was the number? Oh. Eighteen. It was, it was a perfectly fine number. It was eighteen. Alright, I'm gonna walk okay, over to her really and scary. I'm... I was so scared for a minute. Okay. So now you're Ayla casting Spare the Dying? Died. Yeah, I'm, I'm casting Spare the Dying on her. Okay, so she's not un un she's not conscious, but she's not going to die. Uh, are we doing the rule where, like, because she took, like, 
Yes. 20 she... extra damage. I yep. would have to heal her 20 damage to wake her up. Yes. I don't think I can heal her 20 damage with the spell spell slots I have. Oh, wait. Uh, I But I did the spare the dying uh, has an effect. I'm trying to remember what that rule was. I think we agreed that it was here with some major wounds because it basically stabilizes the body. Um... Well, for flavor, I, what I had for my Spare the Dying was, like, I pull out, like, a, a quill that's, like, I've attached to a blade, and I, like, stick it in you like a needle and inject something. Oh, my something. God. That's so cool. That's cool. Holy shit. That is cool. Um, I will say that it brings them to zero exactly for right now until I can figure out what I actually want to do with it. Okay. So if you deal any healing <laughs> yeah. at this point, it will bring her, on, bring her back to consciousness because... Holy fuck, that was close. That was close. Um, Mon Monma's also just gonna, looking over everything that's happening, is gonna look to Muriel and go, do you, do you mind hold it? As she kind of like gestures the tied up goblin towards Muriel. <laughs> oh my God. Muriel's already let this goblin go before. <laughs> God, she has, hasn't she? This exact goblin. <laughs> Well, Mortimer hopes that it's under the assumption of don't set him free. <laughs> Does he side up? Oh, she's be right back. Shit. You are. You also don't know that she let the other one go. I did not. Or let let this one go. Yeah, I didn't at all. So I just think she's gonna keep it. Oh lord. Um. Hmm. Could I see? Jason, could I use my um, inspiring leader thing just as like a soft advantage in some situations to kind of, if like say if I was to try and to reason and console this guy, if I could get him to calm down. Actually, no, that's not what the, mm. not really what it's meant for. Yeah, no. nah, that's not what it does. That's not. Mm. I'm gonna. Can I, can I uh, try to calm him down? Uh, oh, sorry, can, no, yeah. uh, Elizabeth, you go ahead. Oh, I was going to do the exact opposite of calm him down, so... Uh, oh. Wow. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, let's, really let's, here, let's roll, and whoever gets the higher number... All right, what are we rolling? Initiative? Do what they want. Oh, well, sure. Yeah, let's roll initiative. Also, while That's you guys are rolling, um, Muriel, I look, yeah. um, I look to Muriel uh, before I approach this guy, plus and I'm like, now, do you mind holding, as I guess, the goblin to you? The tied up goblin. Like, oh, fuck. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Muriel's okay. going to uh, hold on to the goblin. Okay. Mono just gets that tired very much and goes over to the guy as you guys are about to do this. Uh, I walk up to him and I like, it, what's he doing right now? He is, he is, um, uh, the human? Yeah. Uh, he is still crying at the dead body of Pickett. I'm, I'm gonna walk up to him. And I'm going to say, uh, <laughs> I'm actually oh. going to cast Thaumaturgy to make my eyes glow a little bit more. And I'm going to say, we're taking your cart. You can stay here or go home. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Can I okay. roll Intimidation? Sure, roll Intimidation. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Even at advantage. Even at advantage, it wouldn't have been good. He just looks over to you and he's like, "You're not taking my wagon." Um, I mean, there are there are ways to go about this. I, I guess the first tempted to do something. Not, oh, we're sorry. not taking any more than we If we just kill him, it'll be all over. Anyway. First, you kill my horse. Now you're gonna take my wagon. I don't think so. We didn't kill your horse. Wagon. We we technically did kill your horse. But no, nope, there's no technically about it. We didn't. <laughs> he's he's just gonna he's just gonna like wait. Is he close to Lisbeth right now? Yes. No. Fuck. Say, uh... Okay. Not he's yet. gonna like take Lisbeth by the head and move him behind him. Move her behind him. Like should he oh, okay. strength for that? Um. Uh, Considering uh, size. No, I don't because know. Of, well, like, because of size. No. Well, it... I mean, uh, you're taking. Elizabeth by the hand or by the head? By the head. He's going to put if a hand on by, her if head. If it's by the head, then Elizabeth will retaliate violently. That is where my hat is. 
<laughs> oh shit! Oh, I didn't even think about okay. that. Um, maybe by the shoulder then. If uh, if if if, if it was like better. by a hat, he wouldn't try to hit it by the hat because whoever did it could just run away. So he would probably do it by the shoulder oh, and right. swing her back. I would, right. I would otherwise, but it's just for the fact that if he did oh. catch his hat, I mean her hat, <laughs> she could run away still. So, um, yeah. All right. I. He's gonna call Beauregard over. <laughs> okay. This is important. Beauregard comes running over. Does anybody else want to do um, something? I feel bad. Really, I feel like really, really quick. Well, what is Beauregard? I'm trying to make it out. A Beauregard, Beauregard is a boar. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Beauregard. Uh... I just really like uh, that pun. I wish that I was never a... asked. <laughs> the boar's name was also going to be Fred, but... <laughs> but... Thank you for... Oh that was... That's way better than what I came up with, to be honest. I don't know if it is... <laughs> no, it is. Having your, I, having I your boar being... Right, honestly. Having your it pet is. being named the exact same thing as you is hilarious. Oh especially considering you named yourself. That's not true. She did? Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, that's that's backstory. <laughs> no, okay, okay. You you've literally mentioned it before. Oh, yeah, yeah, but not to Mortimer. <laughs> true. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, okay. Um, does anybody else want to go? I feel bad. <laughs> I do. I want to go. 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 Uh, I'm ready. not here. <laughs> That's why I want to go, because I haven't done anything this session. Because <laughs> I'm not here. That's um, why you don't split the I'm, party. I'm not going to stay around much longer. You never split the party. That's fine. Okay. That way Ayla doesn't have run the risk of dying. <laughs> I guess. That's, that's a good idea. Maybe, 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 maybe okay. don't try to kill yourself. <laughs> oh, what are you guys doing? General, generally good advice, yes. Um... She's just, she's tired. She's done with everything that's just going on. <laughs> she's just gonna start dazing off. I mean, not, not asleep as in just what, like- Wait, what are you doing with the goblin? She's, she was what? holding the goblin, but now she's- Wait, I, does Mortimer need her to still hold on to the goblin? If so, she'll be holding on to the goblin. Uh, she's going into the goblin. Well, garden. yeah, I mean, Mortimer just kind of entrusted that you would be- But like, it's not like restricting your character to drop it. She just okay. thinks he's still up. Um, then I'm just gonna continue holding on to the goblin then. Okay. Okay. Um, well, um, Mortimer kind of turns to everyone else and goes, uh, guys, I think we actually need to probably talk what we're gonna do about this. We can't just try and, uh, bully. Um, yeah, yeah, he he wants to. Well, he's just gonna say like to the to the human. He's gonna say, "I understand what the death of a pet means, and I'm really sorry that even though we did not directly cause the death of your horse, uh, that that is a bond between animal and human that is very very um, heart wrenching to break. Um, I I want to do whatever I can." If, if by chance, if you don't want us to take your cart anymore, that is fine with us. It should be fine with us. He's gonna like give a glance to the rest of the party. Yeah, one of them like bends down as well, just like giving him a, a nod. You're just gonna give a slight nod. I'm gonna give a huff. <laughs> Good. And if you need a ride home, I would be happy to take you there myself. And M Mona just goes, count me in on that too. He is still crying, but he's not yelling at you guys anymore. And he looks up to Fred and he says, His name was Pickett. Pickett was a good name. I picked it myself. I I I understand that. 
It's a very good name for a horse. Thank you. You're very welcome. He's gonna like. He you named his horse back. after a fence. It's. <laughs> it's a good name. Was Don't get me wrong. Name? It's a good it name, is, but he named it, it after a fence. I thought. I thought he named it because, like, they were like, "Hey, uh, you can have a horse." And he's like, "Which one?" And they're like, "I don't know. Pick it." <laughs> yeah, I thought that was. Oh <laughs> Uh, Dungeon master, more like pun master. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, one of us just kind of goes like, "Was he a good boy?" Oh, Aww. girl, can I take a can I take a <laughs> check? <laughs> <laughs> He's, he did just say he he his he said his name was Pickett. Oh. I was okay. like, it should yeah, be okay, pretty okay. easy to tell. All you yeah. have to do is. See yeah, if it has that massive fucking horse cock. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. We weren't gonna say it out loud, but I guess we are. Yeah. Hey, if I don't get to be part of the session, I get to make jokes. No, please. <laughs> You're ready. We to... need more of your jokes. A hundred percent. No more. No, the human. Yeah, the human stands up and and looks to Fred and Mortimer. How are we supposed to? We don't have a horse. Mm. <laughs> Ayla's still unconscious on the ground. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> keep forgetting about Ayla. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I know. I've, this, is this... Ayla stabilized? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I've, I've already yeah. stabilized her. Okay. Still unconscious. Uh, can Muriel help her somehow? I don't know how she would. But like. I'm not sure if it's on our spell list, because I don't remember what the wizard spell list includes, but if it is, you should take good berry, Muriel. Uh, there is good there are no there are no healing options on the wizard spell list. Mm -mm. Okay. Dude, I'm so upset because I could have taken that spell, but I didn't realize how useful it would have been until after we started. It, um, it is fantastic for picking up people. Yeah. Well, oh, no, I guess really. I guess with the with our homebrew rules, it wouldn't actually be that great at picking up people, unless they fell one hit point below their oh, max. True. Their... That's a good point. I, I was ju I was just saying it because good berry means that there's automatically berries that Muriel can use in her baking. Oh. And also because it can heal someone who's been stabilized that through really the dying. That would be really cool if Muriel could have that, but that's a ranger spell. <laughs> yeah. You should take, like, one level in Druid to take it, because I know it's on the Druid spell list. I mean, it's also on the also, Druid spell list? Okay. You, yeah. you could also just take Magic Initiate. Or, oh, yes! You oh, can take Magic true. Initiate Druid. Is you it... can take Magic Initiate Druid. So would that be a feat? That's yeah, a that's feat, a yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I could take that next level. Let me we'll make sure Goodberry is a first level spell. Yeah, Goodberry is a first level spell. Yeah, well, yeah you could take it with, uh, yeah, Matt, uh... <coughs> Magic cool. And Goodberry is still useful in this type of situation because, I mean, you mm -hmm. can still spare the dying yeah. and then spare the dying. You yeah, can spare the dying and then spare the dying. At least with the current rules. It's, it's, it's just least. not as useful in the uh, middle of combat as. Yeah. Uh, oh. yeah. Also, if, um, so, is there anything Muriel would be able to do or not really? To help Ayla? Yeah. Uh, you could try to cook up some food. Okay, um, this yeah, food I'll does do have that. healing properties. Yeah, that's why that's good. Why, that's why that's good berry gives good. one yeah. hit point. Is it food? Just cook it up and so then force the... feed it. <laughs> force feed it. <laughs> um, so that's the uh, cooking rule. So that'll be D twenty plus four, I believe, because it's intelligence plus proficiency. Uh, oh wait, no, plus five because proficiency is now plus three. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna say while all this is happening, Elizabeth 18? has gotten bored. And she is now wandering off and talking to herself. Oh, <laughs> um, I think I'm too focused on the guys who know this. Uh, what did you cook up, Muriel? Uh, she just cooked some vegetables. Okay. So you make like a stew of some sort, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. And then you're God, force, uh, force feeding her this stew? Yes. <laughs> okay. So Ayla, uh, you wake up to the the smell of some vegetable stew, um, and uh, a an, an pleasant flavor in your mouth, um, but also a little bit of mixture of actually no, never mind. I was going to say blood, but you did not bleed out, so never mind. Yeah. 
Listen. That's the last thing that the last thing that you remember was uh, using your you not vicious mockery your um what's it called? What, what did she use? No, um, hellish rebuke. Hellish rebuke. She was about to uh, like slam on the guy, but just but. And then you passed out. <laughs> Internal bleeding in the brain. <laughs> Insane in the membrane. I was also gonna say, um, if I was playing an evil character like Riverskin, I totally suggest that we enslave a bunch of goblins and use them. <laughs> oh, that would. Wow. True. Oh, gosh. But I wish I wish I was playing an evil character right now. If you were, if you were playing an evil character and you did that, Muriel would be freaking out. Oh, oh god. Oh, no, I'd be triggering PTSD. I, one of one of the things I still want to oh, do with PTSD no. is do an evil campaign. Mm. Well, we can do this one in time. <laughs> I oh no, I can make much more evil than Lisbeth. Come on, Lisbeth yeah, isn't evil. She just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, Lisbeth's chaotic, chaotic. Oh my god. Um. Oh shit. Hang on. I need to go pee really. <laughs> Don't die. Okay. Ava's gonna sit up. Recognize that Muriel's cooking and just kind of lay back down. You have one hit point. <sighs> cool. Uh, I'm walking away and I'm saying Ian. dead. Now I kind of want to revoke him understanding what the rains meant because that would have been funny, but he's he's just <laughs> maybe, in response to did. the human's question. What? Maybe he didn't understand what it meant, but he was like, ah, yes, punishment. And you put the <laughs> <off. laughs> really How many days of travel have we been doing? Two. Okay. Um, Which means, theoretically, Euroni is almost there. Okay. Uh, another message to him. Edit time. I'm gonna when DM do, the DM as well. When do bardic inspirations wear off? I'm ten sure. minutes. Oh. Okay, has it been ten minutes? Uh, uh, that was blessed, right? Or did you get bardic inspiration? She got bardic inspiration. Oh, okay. It has not been ten minutes yet, no. Okay. I had that to your cooking. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> Well, and you would have had really good tasting food if I had done that. Oh my god! It would have been twenty eight if I had done that. Oh really? Oh wait, not twenty eight. Uh, um, uh, it'd be eighteen plus uh the eight or whatever she rolls. Yeah. So, what are you guys doing? <laughs> um, well, in uh, response to the. In, in response to the human's question, he's just gonna hold the reins up and said, and like, he asked, like, how how they're gonna get there without a horse. He's just gonna say, like I said, I'll take you myself. And he's gonna, you know, the reins are on him already, but he's holding them up with his hands, I guess. You're, you're gonna... That's a lot of work. It is. Uh, he's gonna. Borgard is at his side now, and he like kind of just like pats him. He's like, "But I have him to help me." Um, it. Uh, it. I guess it's what we deserve for uh, killing your horse. He looks and... at. He looks at your boar and looks over at you. What's your What's your boar's name? Borgard. He looks back over to Pickett. Pickett's a better name than that. <laughs> I really don't like this asshole. He will not respond to that. Uh, I really don't like him. He, he'll just stand up and then just hop into the um, the cart, the carriage. Okay. Um, if you hear anything, it's just my cat hucking up a... Th Fun. My cat. Um, so don't worry, he's not dying. Just verbal. Okay, okay I'm glad. <laughs> but, but um, Mortimer's just fun. gonna look around and going, do we have any magical means to make this move without horsepower? 
just gesturing to everyone. Muriel's gonna shake her head no. I am mm. technically a magical creature. I am not there. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I mean, Muriel could put something around her waist and help pull, because she can pull quite a bit of weight, but... Do we really have to force along with the cart, though? Hmm. I mean, we could just walk, it's a thing, because it's so much extra weight. Well, we could always maybe ask the wolves or something. I, Fred can go for, follow the wolves! Uh, <laughs> Bring him back! Oh, I was gonna say, I believe it's what I deserve for killing that wolf, and he, like, points to the wolf over there. Oh. Um, the but... one that has been shish kebobbed. <laughs> yes. Poor wolfie! I feel so bad! But, um... Okay, um... Hmm. Time to look at my inventory. Does, mm. Would movement work? Or so I guess you, we could all just walk. You guys, I will say this. You, you'll you be able to do this, but it won't be that much different than just walking. Okay. Because Fred uh, has the ability to carry things heavier than them, so they'll be able to pull the cart fine. Um, but Fred's movement is only 30 feet. So mm -hmm. it'll just be the same as if you guys mm. walked. Would I... I it just it'll just it will it will just allow the people that aren't walking to be able to take short and long rests. Would it change much if um, Muriel did it because her walking speed is forty? Um, that's true. Fred's Muriel can also okay. technically do it. Um, you'd be able to go a little bit faster, yeah, but not much. You still would not be able to go as fast as you guys had. How much does? Would Mario be able to pull everyone, including Fred, though? Yep. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you would be able to. Well, Fred would be pulling the cart, but... No, yeah. Mario also just suggested Mario going and doing it instead, because Mario also has the <laughs> same feature that she can lift things. Could we both do it? Yeah, what if they both work together? Man, it I wish... change much. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, uh... I, I turn towards the guy, and I go, asking him, is there any uh, rough bumps or hills or drops or anything we need we would need to look out for along this trail? Well, once we get off the trail, there will be. Because the uh, place that you guys are going to, it's not on the road. Um, what I was just thinking, even if we get there, how are you going to get there? Back it off. What? Oh, hang on. That's a oh, good question. Um, Fred just offered. To, he just pull, offered to pull the cart. Yeah. Yeah, but how's he gonna? How's the carriageman gonna get back to the city? Yeah. Let him the question walk. is, does he want to go? But Fred wasn't gonna ask that yet. Huh. Let's just walk. We can leave him with the cart. Hmm. Uh, DM sent you a message. Uh, that would be a I, shelter. Listen, I can take I can take him if he doesn't want to come with us. That would be splitting up the party, and we're kind of on a tame sensitive mission here. Remember, <laughs> that <you're doing> <laughs> oh, God. I'll just I'll just run. It'll be fine. <laughs> Fred, uh, I don't think you uh, what him. is what is everybody's passive perception? Um, <laughs> low. I think I mine's like, 11. Like mine's that. 11. Uh, 12. 13. Uh, oh, you guys, have, you guys have horrible passive perception. We oh my goodness. It's also worth noting that I am now attuned to this cloak of elven kind, so... That's oh, true. No. I am the only one with good passive perception in this group. Well... <laughs> I don't often give my characters good wisdom. I'm nice. sorry. Uh, wisdom, wisdom's the best dump stat. <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, it's usually con. Oh, no, I like having good con. I like being able to eat things. Uh, True. Feel that. Strength is honestly what I dump, usually. Would we, would we be able to call any nearby guards from, like, another town to help you? Uh, roll me a history check. Okay. Historia. 
Uh, you're pretty sure that the closest town would be not really even be a town, but rather be the um, either the um, the orc village that you guys are going to or the um, the Alk Temple. Oh, ah, uh, uh, right, the temple. <laughs> hmm. And can I kind of deduce that people from the temple would be willing to help him along, at least, or at least the, or at least the law enforcement would be obliged to help I someone would, along. I would hope that the people from the Alk Temple would be willing to help somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm sorry. I'm I can't thinking. help this guy die. Like <laughs> I might. Hey, I this guy is not going to survive this campaign. I promise. Uh, I no. I swear this well, guy is going to have, die. You I'm have, going you to make sure of it. You have already done your uh, Gaios damage for the day. You can you have you are free for the rest of the day to do whatever you. Want. You're right. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay. Um. You're right. All right. Thanks so, for bringing it up. Here's my, here's my plan. Um, so how far on the map, like, say if we were to walk with him, when off to Mod Garage versus him splitting off to go to the temple? Uh, how long? Like, would he have to go alone for... You would have to go alone for a bit, but not a long bit. I also like that our two most chaotic characters decided independently of each other that they don't like this guy. <laughs> no, honestly, funny. though, he's such an asshole, and I swear on Ayla's life do? and the life of all my characters, this guy is not surviving he this campaign. Sport, he had, I don't he had his pet, he had his pet of murdered. Of course he's dead. <laughs> yeah. uh, it would be about a day's, tra a day's travel without him, and he would have to travel a day. Uh, is, it, is it... Could I kind of guesstimate if it's like safe enough? For like a days alone. I mean, it is well, we it is it, it is back. on the road, so the road tends to be relatively safe. But I mean, you guys were just ambushed here, so. Okay. Shit. So, uh, um, yeah, TJ. Uh, I was just mentioning that uh, you said, of course he's mad. Lisbeth doesn't care that he's mad. She's mad that he's mad at her for no reason, or as exactly. she perceives it, no reason. No reason. <laughs> I mean. He has reason now, but he didn't before. Yeah. I would like to do something. Uh, I would like Ayla to do something. <laughs> Ayla is going to approach Fred. Hey, Fred, could I borrow perhaps some paper and like a pencil? I can like totally buy you some later on, but like I really need some right now. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna roll insight. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm still not sure if Fred entirely trusts Ayla. Um, tr you don't I don't think I, I don't think I trust Ayla yet, and I'm the DM. <laughs> That's very fair. Okay, oh, there you yeah, go. You're the so, one who. What was it? Tell me. It's 20. a twenty. Unnatural. I'm going to roll deception. All right, cool. Watch it be like a thirty-three. <laughs> <laughs> Not one, not one, not one, not one. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. Watch. Oh my gosh, maybe I will roll it. Hold on. This is being stupid. Maybe you can roll it. Hmm. As a treat. Alright. Let's see how far this gets. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. That, uh, so... All Ayla seems to want to do is write a letter. Okay. Even though it's lower? Mm hmm. Okay. Ayla honestly just wants to write a letter. Okay. He. <laughs> just gonna raise an eyebrow, <laughs> nod slowly, <laughs> reach into his satchel. And take out his notebook and rip a piece of paper. Oh, she's sending something to Arvin. And then give her a piece of paper and a pencil. Um, and he's just gonna say, "I trust that you will use these wisely." This. If oh, I, I find very wise. <laughs> good. If I find my pencil broken, you need to buy me a new one. <laughs> I'm. I'll buy you a new one. Uh, I could I have a couple pieces of paper though, like just a few of them. Cause like this is gonna be a long, long problem. 
He's gonna rip off one more piece of paper. <laughs> one more. I need three. Specific. Okay. He's gonna rip off a third piece of paper. It <laughs> <laughs> okay. feels too real. Ayla's going to fold it up, put it in the bag, so that she can write the letter later. And while she's <laughs> in the bag, DM, I sent you a DM. <laughs> Um, I don't like that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> justice for your only. Just hashtag justice for your only. How are you doing? Just vibing, honestly. <laughs> vibing in Orktown. Okay. Yeah, just vibing in Orktown. <laughs> Seeing the sights of Taylor's suddenly gonna just like say, Oh shit. Well, let's get going like right now. We need to get to town as quickly as possible or set up camp. Come on. And she's gonna just gonna start marching down the road like as quickly as she can. Do okay. we follow her, or...? Um, it's up to you. Do you follow her? Right, when she does this, I'm gonna go to the guy, and kind of like, um, what's he doing right now? He's sitting in the the cart, waiting for Fred to take him. Alright, go um, away. going up to, uh, the guy, I go up on the cart with him and say, Watch I have another time. idea. I am <clears throat> up road from here. Not too far from where we were originally going. There's, there is a temple in devotion to Alch. Yeah, I know. I'm the one yes. that travels this entire area. You don't need to mansplain things. Okay, <laughs> mansplain. As you're a woman. Okay, cool. You know, <laughs> I like so, to point out we still wait, don't know his name. Do not. So Mortimer kind of like takes like from her. She has like a little necklace thing, one that has like a carved wooden fist on it. Like kind of like rips it off. He goes, if you go to the temple and show honest goodwill and and ask for help, there should be many willing to help come back here with you to your car and fix you up and get you on your way home. It shouldn't be too far. We'll have to split off at one point, but if your intentions ring true, Alk should protect you from any danger on the Fine, but I'm not walking anywhere. You're not walking anywhere? No. Would Ayla be able to hear this? No, you've already walked away. Damn it. Alright, alright. <laughs> I, I look to Fred <laughs> and go, Uh, you ever piggyback before? Uh, yes, the answer is yes, Fred, because you did give a little one. Uh, Fred, if you're trying to talk to us, we can't hear you. Oh, no, I can hear I don't know if Fred was there at all. I can't hear Fred he's, at all. He's speaking loud, okay. that's why okay. Connor could understand. Give me a second, give me a second, just one second. Give me a second. She's on the same internet wavelength. I only I can understand. Guys, guys, human is acting kind of sus. We should vote off human. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Okay, he's, he's gonna um, he does he understand what piggybacking means though? Um, um, what's what's the local lingo for piggyback in this oh, realm? Fred still wouldn't know what the local lingo of piggyback is. No, he doesn't. Oh, God, right. <laughs> I would say I'd roll an intelligence. Oh my check goodness, what right. is that noise? I have no idea. <laughs> the trees inbuilt microwave. Is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that I'm having this comic <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> okay, um, sorry. <laughs> can can um, I take some sort of diplomacy check to try and properly convey what a piggyback is to Fred? Diplomacy <laughs> <laughs> check. I mean, I, how, what is that how, noise? How Whatever that noise yeah, is, please. please. It's Ayla reversing. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very annoying and painful. It's I, I think it's pretty easy unraveled. to explain that you just carry somebody on your shoulders as a piggyback ride. 
But would Fred get it? Fred, would you get that? <laughs> I think you would. I think okay, that you'd okay. understand. He's not that stupid. Um, okay. He's honestly not stupid at all. Um, he just doesn't understand <laughs> a whole lot. Wait, I do not on. know Fred too much. <laughs> so I'm anyway, trying to suss out if it's the wisdom or the intelligence I, that's low. I, I do really like how much this uh, party, like, all of the characters are rather smart, but they they all have, like, different styles of intelligence. Yeah, exactly. Ha, okay, Ayla's no not it. that smart. Well, you're, you're smart socially. Yeah. True. <laughs> and what are you talking about? Ayla's had the most complicated plans this entire fucking That's very campaign. true. Yeah. Ayla is very smart if you think about it like that. Sure. Yeah, um, it's not, it's not how we would like her to be smart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you also have 17 intelligence, so that's Crap! not dumb. No! God damn it! Don't, don't look at that! <laughs> oh. Okay. So, your guys' plan is to give the human, who you still don't know his name, um, um, a piggyback ride. Yeah, Fred. Fred will agree with that, especially given that it's the human. Yeah. Um, we should probably ask him his name at some point. He's gonna yeah. say that to <laughs> yeah. out yeah. loud what? in front of uh, the human. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what was your name? Uh, my name is Rowan. 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 Yep. Rowan. Okay. Okay, Rowan. It, um, it's would nice you be to meet oh, you. Fuck. No, I yeah. kind of don't sorry want to. Oh, wait, we've already met. I'm sorry. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Um, okay. I I will I will piggyback you, I suppose. I will put you on my shoulders and take you to the town that you need to go to if you're willing. I can't be up there. Uh, fine. If that's the only way that we can do this. Yeah. And everyone will help fix up He's your wagon right quick and get you back on the road. Okay. Um, Mortimer, please roll me a insight check. Uh? Oh, if he's going to stab me, there's going to nope. be some fucking hell to pay. No. Oh, fuck. It's, it's insight check. Um, you, feel oh. like, you feel like you're missing something. Mm-hmm. If it's... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait! Oh no! <laughs> oh, okay, so did realization. All right, just is hit? everyone ready? As she kind of goes, ah, okay. So there's Fred, there's Miriam, there's a uh, Ayla. Ayla is kind I'm, of up the path. I'm looking for a pointy hat now, but um, huh. Where did Lisbeth go? <laughs> yeah, wait, where? I, I missed that. Where did Lisbeth go? Uh, Everyone, we don't actually know. slipped out of our attention uh, in yeah. game as well. Just by literal time talking, Lisbeth has been missing for 20 minutes. Oh my oh god. My god. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah. And uh, actually, with oh that, I'm going to say that is where we're going to end today's session. So I'm oh getting pretty god. tired. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> sorry, Yuroni. I'm sorry, Yuroni, that you were not able to participate in today's session at all. Oh, sorry, Yuroni. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I demand that I am the focus of the entirety of next session in compensation. For that this. is that, not going to happen, you... but okay. Um. So, I have to say, possibly getting that guy's name might have been the worst thing you guys could have ever done. Oh, okay. It's like, it's like gaming an animal. Because now we actually know who it is. Why? 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 Oh, why? God, because Ayla's going to keep that in mind, I think. So if you killed him, it would feel less bad? Or more bad? Or I don't no, even know? No, now it would be easier to kill him. Yeah, now she knows like, his name and like where to get info on him now. You are not there to hear his name, though. Oh. I know. That's true. Oh. We were out of your shot. I have a plan to get his name, though. Also, no. you're just just an FYI. Your character is not evil. I know. I'm not doing something evil. Are you sure? is she uh, hunting, hunting down a person because they punched you in the face once. Evil. 
to kill them. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that, pretty, that is it's pretty evil. evil. You can, so, so you so can evil. jump them. That's not what I'm doing. That's you can not jump what I'm them. doing. <laughs> so why are you trying to kill him then? Explain. Okay. I actually want to talk to you elsewhere. <laughs> because I don't want to spoil that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what, do you think okay. he knows anything about you? Because he doesn't. <laughs> no. That's the only thing I can think of based off of your backstory that would have you have a reason to kill this random human who's just a lazy boy. <laughs> How old is he? Um, I did probably like 20s, late 20s, early 30s. Okay. Ayla herself will almost definitely not be the one to kill him. I promise you that. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I am that makes so concerned. Go. So you want to sacrifice him? <laughs> Where do you guys get these ideas? Hmm. I, because I you're not telling us what your idea is. I wonder, Ayla. I wonder where we get this idea. You know, there's something humans have called pattern recognition. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, if you want to hop in one on one real quick, I can tell you a few things. There's sure. two plan two ways I plan for this to possibly go. Sure, we can hop in one on one, and I'll mute the stream. Um. Now, like, I literally can't make it. Because oh. the... the so, part, yeah, the uh, a Ayla is 100% evil, and I'm probably going to be changing her to be the BBEG based off of what she just told me. Yes, yes. Got no. it. Uh, tell me Ayla just died. Okay, okay. Oh, I oh my god, Ayla's dead. Not... Oh, yeah, by the way, take 5d6. I don't care about the day thing. <laughs> just, just, just joking, just joking. Shit. Oh, I was like, Ayla's dead? Yeah, no, it, it's... Just... Ayla yeah, would be not... dead. Yeah, the warning on last just made it seem it like is, it, it meant be one session. The only thing okay. that I was. Oh, okay. Because. So, sorry, I didn't realize. Hey, Yoroni, at least you guys know now that you yeah. should not split uh, the party. Well, I mean. A lesson we, learned in we, blood. We say as Lisbeth wanders away and splits the party. And Ayla splits <laughs> away as well. Yeah, what is <laughs> Lisbeth doing? <laughs> I, I walk, like literally now like 25 minutes well. ago I said Lisbeth gets kind of bored and wanders away and I said that out loud and then I've just been messaging the DM what I did which was oh basically just as it goes on I keep wondering yeah, I, I, that's really funny oh my I had a feeling Lisbeth would do that it's just it I didn't mention my anything mind. I, I knew as soon as you said hey DM I sent you a <laughs> I knew right then. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> well, the first time I actually had nothing to do with wandering away. But, really? Uh, yep. Huh. And see, that's why I thought it was more to doing it. Okay. Well, thank you guys for the session today. Thank um, you. you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah thank, oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. This is a thank turning you. point. <laughs> Hey, you know what? That was a pretty cool story at the beginning. And that was. It was. Yeah, it, it is was in. Cool. It is written out in the campaign info now. So if you guys want to read through it again, so you understand it. Uh, what does Avia look like? Uh, it describes her. Uh, Avia was a human. She was pale with long, curly red hair. Her face freckled in the daylight. Oh, so my type. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Hi. Uh, I feel like chill. I'm. Mm. Seven foot I'll twelve. Chill for a bit, yeah. No. Oh, seven foot twelve. All right. That's not Even a real then. height. Also, like, genuinely, 
if Ayla, what's it called, somehow flips alignment or becomes big bad evil guy or something, I'm actually not opposed to that. Like, I don't know, that sounds interesting too. Okay, Ayla yeah, is not no, no, the I big just, bad just, okay. evil guy. No, I will. No, this is this is all this is all I will say. Um, Ayla is not inherently evil, but the more you learn about her backstory, the more interesting the the dynamic of Ayla within the party will become. Oh God, the more ambiguity and, will rise. Um, it's very important though that you know she is not evil. Okay. okay. It's also important for you not you not you to know that Ayla. <laughs> <laughs> She's not just evil. Miss- it's just helping others. You attempted to kill a man because he punched you in the face. <laughs> it's just like a. You would have killed him. Little, you would straight like, up have killed him if you hit him. It's just like a friendly killing, though. He is a commoner. Commoners have four health. <laughs> Wait, really? So that would be really easy, huh? Yeah, yes. You would have killed him if he hadn't saved. <laughs> All right, and he just barely saved. <laughs> it was most impressive though that he did that. So. Okay, well I'll drag this back to the the map, which the map is done now, everybody. I hope you like the map. Ooh. This map is done. It looks pretty. Uh, I'll probably I, I will probably why. end up adding more locations as the thing goes as the. A campaign goes, but this is it for now. So. Okay. Um, oh, I, also, I, just um, um oh, so also, out of curiosity, um, is it, I'm since I'm still relatively comparatively new to this campaign. Um, how lenient is like, uh, swapping out characters if you want to roll a new character? I, I'm totally, I'm having fun with Mortimer. So uh, no worries. But, it's like, all, in all the future. yeah, it's all dependent on the uh, on the DM. Um and. Some DMs absolutely despise it. Some DMs don't care whatsoever. I'm somewhere in between. I prefer people to stay on their characters, but if you yeah. are if you aren't having fun on your character anymore, then I'm not gonna force you to play that character anymore. You can I, switch uh, characters. Okay. My hockey sticks is brought in. I'm having too much fun with Elizabeth. I, <laughs> I, I, I refuse to even make a backup for her. <laughs> <laughs> if you I, die, I, you die in real life. I have a ba- I have a backup for your Oni, but I don't plan on switching. I honestly might even just br- like if Mortimer somehow dies, I might just bring in Rivers. <laughs> Do it. Uh, actually, Jason. Yes. Before you go, there's another thing I would like to talk to you. It's kind of relative towards uh, Ayla's future and backstory. Okay. Um, if, yeah, we'll, we'll talk in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. It's really unfortunate, and I don't like it, but... That's fine. Oh, also, TJ. Hmm. Did you end up getting Phasmophobia? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. Uh, I was trying to save money. Oh, yeah, oh probably uh, this week I should get paid a little bit more, so I'll probably yeah. grab Actually, it. Actually, hey, when's your birthday again? Should May first. Like, yeah. No, Wait. no it's not what? coming up. <laughs> Happy really <laughs> early birthday. <laughs> uh, so May is nine oh, plus. Oh, did I miss it? So November first is your half birthday. Then, half birthday. Yeah. I'll take it. That's coming All up right. soon. Hey. Nice. Yeah. I, might find an I can't, excuse I to can't wait you to be 23 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Hey, we finally found out how old he was. He is 23. Uh, we did it. Wait, wait, was that... Were you trying to figure that out? <laughs> no, I just didn't know. Yeah, we were all scheming yeah. to figure out if how you old you were. If you we told me... Bets. Like, I, I, was, I would have guessed that you're anywhere from 22 to 35. Really? Damn. Yeah. Based, off your, based off of your Based off of your voice do. alone. Yeah. Based yeah, off your voice fine. alone, you're somewhere in there. I couldn't tell. You have All a right, voice that right. is kind of like you could be anything. All right, I'm curious. What about me? Um, I you're. I, I think you're a little bit younger, but you could also be in your mid twenties. So I'm going to say somewhere I between guess... eighteen and twenty six. 
You're definitely younger than That's me. That's exactly what I would have said. Yeah, yeah no, 21. You're, you're pretty spot on. <laughs> yeah. When the first time I ever met Ty, he thought I was way younger than him. Yeah, I Dude, thought you were a lot actually, younger than you actually were because your voice was super high at first. I thought for, you were I'm somewhat serious. younger than for, me. For the, people, for the people here that do not know how old I am, because some of you do, guess how old I am. Mm -hmm. I already know, so I won't. I have no idea. I don't, rem oh. I don't remember. I'm just kidding. I think you might have told me, but I don't 20, remember. Somewhere between do 25 remember. and 30. That is accurate. Yeah. Yes. I'm 27. I just turned uh, 20, I, think, I just turned oh, 27. Oh, I forgot it was your birthday. Right. Happy birthday again. I think you're I think you're somewhere between like 1 and 100. Wait. Nope. Wrong. <laughs> I'm 100. Wait, I'm complete. Wait, hang on. I, get, <laughs> I think I fucked up cuz I thought TJ told me you were 35. What? <laughs> <laughs> How did I get that? What the fuck? I am 27. Okay. Uh, How old are you, Fred? How old am I? Fred is 19. Nineteen twenty, close. Oh, that makes you feel yeah. I'm eighteen. It makes you feel good that you thought I was older than I was. I couldn't remember. I was to see what you guys think for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I Muriel. Think... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Muriel, I think you're sixty-five. I think you're sixty-five. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, Muriel, aren't you nine hundred and three? I'm, I'm pretty good. After retirement, then. Oh my no, god. I can't disable permissions for you guys to why can't I disable I want to disable permission. How do I do this? Why? Because I don't want the justice for um. your own to keep showing up. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean ju justice yeah. for your own? Muriel, I'm gonna justice guess you're like Aroni. I'll say you're under 18. No. Like, Everybody oh, no. make it your status. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's start this fucking movement. My status is- I actually it. can't change my status yet, sorry. Uh, oh, that's I okay. will do it later on. I think Muriel uh, is 18. Close, not the quite. 19? The prank be setting is kind of- Why can't I disable permissions? There has to be a way to disable permissions. <laughs> I, I, know there is. I know that you there is. You cannot take away my right to. <laughs> I know that there. I know that there is because I've I've been in roll twenties before where I haven't been able to. Right. But oh, I can't find you it. Cannot take away my right to. All protect. I have. Your only need is now a one party campaign. You will listen to the party and obey. Okay, so all I have in Yoroni's notes is don't piss him off. I'm not saying all. <laughs> that's all of that's all of her notes. Is just that. Yep. I mean, it's a good note. Uh... Actually, I have notes on everyone, every character and person. Do you have notes on the DM? Yes. Is it the notes on the DM better be like, oh, this is amazing. This is a great person. Never. No, actually, one off. of them. You better add the... justice for your own age to all of the notes. Guess how old I am. <laughs> justice you for like... your own age. That's old. I I don't exactly remember. <laughs> I, I remember am... I thought you were younger than me. I am awful at guessing ages. Well, guess what? You're not gonna find out my age if you. Okay? I'm gonna guess around <laughs> somewhere in the range of like sixteen through. 18, somewhere in there. I'm guessing 16. <laughs> I'm guessing 17. I remember your Yoroni said it? you were an adult at one time. Lisbeth. Oh, shit, my bad. Lisbeth. What? Lisbeth. What's up? What's up? You got a problem? <laughs> oh my god. Fight. Justice for Macaroni, huh? <laughs> yes, I have high... I, I have Ty in my contacts as Roni the Macaroni. That's very perfect. How do you change your status? Because I don't know how to do that. Uh, so if you go Guys, down I have to go. on your profile picture, mm -hmm. it'll right. pull up yeah. the little online idol, do not disturb invisible, at the bottom, uh, Just below invisible. I'm sorry, you do what? So you click on your profile picture on the bottom left of Discord. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see the online oh, idol, do not disturb, yeah. invisible, and then set custom status. I 
feel like I feel like we can make an alignment chart out of these hashtags. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I realize I don't know if anybody really cares too much, but I was stupid. I thought Fred was neutral good. He's actually lawful neutral. Alright. Uh, I, like, I feel like uh, Muriel's justice for Yoroni is lawful good. Uh, yeah. Fred's, Fred's justice for Yoroni is neutral good. Yeah. Uh, I, would, I would call Lisbeth's justice for Macaroni either chaotic <laughs> neutral or chaotic evil. I like chaotic neutral. <laughs> no, no, Jason's is chaotic evil because he doesn't have his <laughs> <laughs> or it's lawful. No, it's neutral evil. Uh, Yoroni's Icarus justice. Your Yoroni is just like neutral. Yeah. Because... The only word you've capitalized is Yoroni. Yeah. Icarus is, is chaotic evil because it's just gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> your mom gay? <laughs> I, didn't I didn't even notice that's what it was. Oh boy, okay. Mortars, Mortimer's is lawful evil because there's nothing. Muriel's I mean, is Muriel's is probably pure neutral because she forgot the hashtag. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. yeah if, if, if Muriel's is pure neutral, then Fred's would be lawful good because he, he did it properly. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, did someone remove my status? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, well, it's because it, it, it's because it turned after today. Yeah, it's it turned today. It's now twelve a.m., guys. Oh, I sure. forgot that you got. Oh, I'm so sorry. Nah, it's fine. I slept earlier. Great. There, there you go. Shame. Now I can. Now I can be more evil. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like that, you sneezed while saying "kachow." We love that. Ka-chow. 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 I'm trying to figure this out. I don't understand. Yeah, I'm gonna. Roll twenty lunch is so then. confusing. Me too. Me too. Okay. I am gonna yeah, bounce. I'm hopping off. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the session again, Jason. Thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. Sorry. Uh, I'm trying to figure this out. Bye, Next week, guys. I'm gonna stop the stream. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna.